इफ द सेटिंग बिकॉज़ जब वो शेयर स्क्रीन में आता है ना ब्लैक ऐसे सो या या जब इट कम्स इट्स फ्री हां वेरी वेरी गुड सो आई एम जस्ट चेकिंग इफ आई गो लाइव we can start with some conversation and then we can yes, discuss yes. i'm just going live oh. so setting oh. i will be seeing yes. just give me one second okay we are live गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बींग हेयर काफी टाइम के बाद मैं ऑनलाइन लाइव आई हूँ लास्ट हफ्ते छुट्टी थी हमारे जकार्ता में गुड ब्रेक एंड यू आर बैक विथ बैंक बिकॉज मेनी किड्स रोड टू मी की मैम हमें स्ट्रेस होता है एंग्जाइटी होती है हमारा हेल्थ अच्छा नहीं है हमें हेयर लॉस होता है एक्ट नहीं होता है एनर्जी नहीं होती है स्कूल कॉलेज के बाद सो आई थॉट इंस्टेड ऑफ रिजॉर्टिंग टू एलोपैथी तुम लोगों ने कहा था तुम्हें आयुर्वेदा के बारे में जानना है और मुझे भी एक्चुअली मेरा बहुत लाइक बेर मिनिमम नॉलेज है इस टॉपिक पे सो आई एम ऑल्सो एक्सट्रीमली इंट्रीड एंड डेफिनेटली वॉन्ट टू लर्न मोर एंड फॉर दैट रीजन आई हैव डॉक्टर शिल्पा ढोका यर हु इज अ जकार्ता बेस्ड आयुर्वेदाचार्य एंड होलिस्टिक वेलनेस प्रैक्टिशनर शी इज सर्टिफाइड एंड ट्रेन इन रिच ट्रेडिशन ऑफ इंडियन आयुर्वेदा प्रैक्टिस and i know her uh, in person in jakarta so maine jab unse request ki so unhone bola definitely she like to help all you kids to agar se koi question hai please youtube pe ya zoom pe aake chat pe zarur apne questions likhna in case it is not addressed first she is going to explain to us what exactly is ayurveda how does it work and thank you so much shilpa for doing this really appreciate it thank you very much rachna first of all welcome to all the viewers and rachna thank you to organize this you're doing a very good job it's nice bachchon ke liye it's like it's it's good because if they can understand if they can get help it will be very nice because ayurveda gives a herbal way its side effects nahi hota and it's a holistic approach it will really help so it's a very good thing and it's a very uh, i think it's a good community service that you're doing thank you so much so tell us something ki how did you get into this field what brought you to ayurveda yeah so i always wanted to become a doctor from my childhood my father was a doctor and i have always seen him in the service so i think from the time i opened my eyes i was into this i wanted to only do this yeah then the choice was going for allopathy or ayurveda or something like that so yeah i i think when i just finished my grade 12 and i don't know it just came up maybe you know like my dad, i remember my dad telling that my ancestors my great great grandfather was a ayurvedic doctor like basically not gone to college or something that those days but he used to make these medicines and give it to the people inside the village and everything so from there I I heard about all these things from my dad, and then there was I I was born and brought up in Mumbai, so so I just thought okay let's check, and then there was an Ayurvedic college applied, and then I got to it, and then the journey just started. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, so how long have you been doing this? How many years has it been? So this is almost twenty eight years plus. Oh wow! So is there like लाइक like, जैसे डॉक्टर्स uh, होते हैं जीपीज होते हैं और फिर वो लोग स्पेशलाइज करते हैं इन सर्टेन लाइक सपोज गैस्ट्रो या आईज या विच एवर बॉडी पार्ट सो व्हाट अबाउट आई इन आयुर्वेदा इज देयर समथिंग लाइक दैट वेर यू स्पेशलाइज इन सर्टेन एलिमेंट्स यस सो आयुर्वेदा एक्चुअली हैज इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आयुर्वेदा इज लाइक 5000 बीसी इट्स वेरी ओल्ड वेरी वेरी ओल्ड एंड इन वी ऑलवेज से दैट आयुर्वेदा इज द मदर ऑफ ऑल द मेडिसिंस Right. See all the instruments that we use in surgery, in modern medicine, all the operations that are happening. That's all, all in our books. We we refer to three main books. That is Charak Sahita, Shushrut Sahita, and Vagbat. You will find all of these in those books. In those days, there were so many surgeries done. Like now, we have artificial limb and all that. But in those days, 
there was the horse who was helping the king in the horse the foot was cut and then they put a metal foot so all these surgeries were there in those books and uh, so i would say that we have learned everything from those books so whatever science is there today it has come actually originally from ayurveda and then it like you know as time passed it was all from there we we try to get better it is like i would say they find the gist and then they made it converted into chemical medicines and everything okay. so that is where ayurveda starts and then so when we do ayurvedic medicine in ayurveda medicines again there are different parts mm-hmm. like everything gynecology pediatrics medicine psychiatry everything surgery so when i said there was surgery so i wanted to explain that there are all the branches that we talk about now okay there are all the branches but do ayurveda i mean i didn't know that doctors ayurvedic doctors also operate or something do you all do it now or no, 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 no. yeah yeah there are ayurvedic surgeons also oh i was not aware of that yeah there are ayurvedic surgeons also how are they different from like regular allopathic i don't know what they are called but let's say modern uh, surgery yeah, yeah modern surgery uh, see the surgery is the same thing but in normal in normal uh, allopathic surgery in the modern surgery they would eat, use betadine savlon all the modern medicines okay. we will use like the trifla decoctions and but the surgery would be the same acha okay and also like for piles and fissure we use uh, threads which are chemically like we dip them into some herbs and activate them and then we use those things in the operations to to like heal the piles fissures and everything so so surgeries the the result is the same but the procedure is a little different we are using the herbs more than the chemicals right 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 so have you ever performed any surgery or you stayed away from so no no when i was in college we all were supposed to because to find to get our degree we we have 6 6 months of posting in every department okay. and we do surgery we assist the doctor i have not done anything solely but have assisted my professors okay and how did you know that this is what i mean i know from your childhood that you wanted to do something like this but did it turn you off was the studies a lot how many years did you study how was your journey to get here so uh, yeah it was a long journey see after grade 12 i had to study for five and a half years basically four and a half years was studies okay and one year was internship okay one year so in, in in internship six months in the college hospital and six months was rural posting okay wow okay so first you practiced in bombay then you came to jakarta or yes no so i practiced in bombay first then i went to south africa i practiced 3 years in south africa okay. and then i am now in jakarta in, oh south africa also and yes i was in compared to here like here at least even though they have many indians there did the south africans also come to you or it was only the indians uh, south africans also south africans also because south africa has of course like uh, indian community there is like five generation six generation there are mm-hmm. indians who have never been to india so okay. there is a different like not so much of expat community but yes locals are there but locals also would come okay okay interesting because this is herbs you know so herbs everybody wants because they understand herbs don't have side effects right. so it was nice to have them that's it that's very interesting so we always hear homeopathy and ayurveda right it's almost like a competition of sorts if people believe in homeopathy they do not believe in ayurveda and right so always there is this thing so can you give us like a little bit differentiation between the two modes of uh, say medical cure or the herbs or what the medicine is and what is the basic structure how are they different from each other and do you yourself believe in homeopathy or you're more like an obviously you're an ayurvedic doctor but let's let i want to know your take on homeopathy yeah, it's a very nice question so first of all okay ayurveda is it deals with herbs it it takes the whole herb like you take a plant it will take the stem it will take the leaves it will take the roots it will take everything okay. it will take the herbs and all the medications are made from the herbs uh-huh. what happens in homeopathy is they remove the essence from the plants hmm. so they are only getting the 
very, very concentrated chemicals. Okay. Okay. So they also get it from the plants. They also... But, but that's more concentrated. That is more concentrated. Okay. So that is similarity hai matlab dono mein, kahin na kahin. Yes, yes. It is, it is herbs. It is, it is... It is. So but it is more concentrated. Itna, I thought it's like absolutely... When there was like a lot of disparity, but apparently there is not. Much. No, so that the only only thing is, you know, Ayurved may see when you talk about you take a essence of chili uh, and drop it on the tongue, it can be very spicy. Right. right. But when you take chili, the whole chili, it mm-hmm. wouldn't be that spicy, yeah, right? Comparatively. Right, 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 right. So what Ayurveda says is it's always good to take the whole thing mm-hmm. so that there is not so much of side effects. Uh, Zero yeah. side effects. Uh, so, for the Ayurvedic doctors, we feel homeopathy is too strong. Uh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, yes. Actually, we like, you know, kuch cure to, chalo, chodo, but even to manage, you have to take it for a certain amount of time for yes. it to make an impact, right? So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, when I say it's, a, it's the concentrated, what I mean is, because you know damages to hone ke chances hote hai na? that is where i mean ki we, we, that's why but i do use homeopathic medicines also in my practice i do use so you know my approach is more of the holistic approach i also have done a naturopathy uh, post graduation where i have also learned homeopathy okay. so i do practice both so that i see whatever is going to help the patient the most okay so even though Ayurveda is my main thing, but yes, I do add one or two medicines from homeopathy also. Okay. So we are going to have a presentation with uh, Dr. Shilpa has prepared it for us. So we can understand what exactly is Ayurveda. I know there are some doshas and all that stuff. Jo mujhe kuch nahi pata. So it, this is going to be interesting to learn something that is from our but before that, I just want to read one message. Uh, Kevin, you wrote to me, give me your blessings for tomorrow's exams. I took your blessings in the last exam and they really went well. I know that you have exams. That's why I'm just taking a short break. All the best, Bacha. God bless you. I hope you do really well. Or I said, do best try. Karo. Nahi bhi hoga. Life will get sorted no matter what. Whatever your marks is, give it your best shot and don't let it get to you. Don't take stress. Mat lena. Time pe suna, time pe khana, or keep me updated. Tum log sab apna dhyan rakho. Or maine tumko pehle bhi kaha hai. Jab mera podcast chal raha ho, or tum log ke exam chal rahe ho, I don't want you thinking ki arey ma'am aayi hai, to mujhe baith ke dikhta nahi. Your exams and studies are first. Your health comes first. Your mental health comes first. You can always watch it. I never take off videos from my channel generally. So ye aap log baad mein se baad mein dekhna, and then we will. Also, someone just wrote ki stress, anxiety, depression. This is the main reason I've got Dr. Shilpa here because I don't want you all taking medicine, uh, jo antidepressants, jo allopathic doctors give them. They keep last resort. Ke rakte. Agar se naturally, we can work on something for some If we can do something about our anxiety and uh, whatever we have hair loss, we can ask any questions pooch sakte hai, as Dr. Shilpa. Ko and of course, India mein Ayurveda hai, to jo wo recommend kar rahe hai, aap log wo baad mein le sakte hai. And write your questions. I will ask only after she is done with the presentation, not now. Thank you so much, Shilpa, for waiting. And you may begin. Yeah, I would also like to say best of luck to Kevin. I'm sure your paper will be good. It will be nice. And you'll be happy. You'll be like, really lazy. Relax after the exam. I'm sure. I'm saying thank you on his behalf. Thank you. That was very sweet. Thank you. Okay. So, do we start the presentation? Yes, yes. Uh, Anand, you just read, how can I understand which dosha? First, pehle dekho to presentation start me you abhi se question start ho gaye. Baad mein puchheng, agar se answer nahi mila, phir question likhna. Yes, Shilpa, please start.
Okay. So can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Okay. Okay, so today we are going to talk about stress management with Ayurveda. Okay, uh, so I will talk about stress first and then I will go to Ayurveda. Okay, now what is stress? So we all say that I'm stressed, I'm stressed, but let's see what is actually stress. So stress is a feeling of emotion and tension. It's about body's reaction towards challenges, towards demand. It's very like, you know, it's a defense system our body has to protect the body from a real or imaginary danger that we are suspecting. So basically our body flushes out some chemicals called hormones. And these hormones then prepare the body to give a response. The response can be fight or flight. Why? See, why I say fight or flight? Because sometimes we want to deal with the situation or sometimes we just want to ignore the situation. So whatever is right at that moment our body, for our body, our body takes that decision. So once again, stress is a chemical. It's a reaction that happens in our body. It's a feeling that our body gives to protect, protect our body, our organs, our self. Okay, let's go ahead. Now, what are the sources of uh, stress? See, sources can be uncontrollable situations, overwhelming responsibilities, lack of activities. See, when I talk about uncontrollable situations, it can be exams are coming. You have no say and you got fever. Now, what do you do? So that's not in your control, right? So there can be problems there, overwhelming responsibilities. Nowadays, you know, everybody wants to be the best. There's a pressure from parents, there's a pressure from teachers, the sibling pressure, the social media pressure. So there's so much of responsibilities there. And because of doing so many things, there is no physical activity happening. In the olden days, we would see everybody going out and playing, socializing. But now, even the socializing happens only digitally. And thanks to the pandemic, it added to staying at home, indoors, everybody became on the, went to the screen, even studying has come to the screen, working also has come to the screen. See, we also face many times discrimination, there are abuses that happen, relationships, it can be relationships with friends. And you know, at the teenager time, the friendship is very important. That mm -hmm. also gives a lot of stress because in a group, you want to be accepted. Sometimes the teachers, the relationship with teachers, the relationship with friends, relationship with parents, with siblings also gives you stress. Right. And also financial problems because, you know, every student has aspirations. He wants to go to a best university, he wants to go for best coaching. Every time, not necessarily the parents can support it. Mm -hmm. So... Also, not only for education, but there are also financial, you know, children want to spend for something, parents will say, we have got this budget. So there's, there's always arguments, there's stress. So a person constantly worries. This is where the st stress starts, you know. So the source can be anything and can be everything. And like, you know, so it's very important that each person knows where the source is for them. What happens from the source our body can have anxiety, can have fear, can have excitement, can have pain. There can be different things because each person's body reacts in a different way. Mm. I can, I, when, my, when I get fever before the exam, I can be anxious or I can be scared, you know, now what is going to happen? I'm going to be, I, 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 might, I might fail. So then every body has a different reaction. So according to the reactions, then we will see different symptoms in the body. The body reacts in a different way. So basically, but the causes are fear, anxiety, pain, excitement, and stimulation. These are the main things that come to our, us. Mm -hmm. So now let's see what happens in our body. So whenever we are in such a situation, whenever there's a situation, unpleasant situation or unexpected situation, our brain produces signals, tells the hypothalamus to produce some hormones or it gives instructions, there, is, there are adrenal blood. See, if you, I will try it. Okay, let me just. Uh... So see, this is the kidney. Mm -hmm. That's not so important for you to know. The kidney has adrenal glands 
these adrenal glands produce two types of hormones that, that is called adrenaline and cortisol. Now, these adrenaline and cortisols are produced whenever there is a situation, whenever there is a defense needed for the body. Now, these, these hormones go in our blood. Mm -hmm. And if they go to the heart, then the heart rate will increase. If it goes to the arteries, the blood vessels, the blood pressure goes up. If it goes to the digestive system, to the stomach, you know, we don't feel hungry, we feel nausea. If it goes to the liver, the sugar levels go up and then we become very jittery. Mm. If it goes to the lungs, it again becomes difficult, like heaviness in breathing. Right. So this is the response that happens in our body. So exactly the same thing. What are the signs and symptoms of stress? Usually, uh, I hear complaints like lack of energy. There's a lot of fatigue, difficulty in paying attention. There's, you know, difficulty in concentration, not feeling hungry or can eat the whole day, but cannot realize, never feel full. Like it's, it's a confusion, confused state. Cannot sleep on time, cannot wake up on time, cannot do the assignments on time. Don't enjoy the routine, have work, don't like to meet, you know, maybe somebody's favorite dish, the parents cook the favorite dish and the child says, I don't want to eat it. The friends want to come and meet, the child doesn't want to meet them. So, you know, everything there is, and not necessarily that everybody will have all the same symptoms. Mm -hmm. The symptoms can be different. It can be, you know, there can be physical symptoms, there can be emotional symptoms, there can be behavioral symptoms, there can also be mental symptoms. So there are different symptoms. Symptoms again. The main thing is each body will show us different symptoms, and there can be a combination also. As I explained, the hormones, wherever the hormones, the cortisol, wherever it travels, that's how we will see the symptoms. So if these symptoms are just short term, they're easy. They will, as soon as the stress situation is managed, it can go. But if it is not taken care it can also produce long-term problems. Okay. The long-term problems. So that is why it is very important to manage the stress. See, the long-term problems can be memory loss, can be weight gain, cancer, blood pressure, heart problems, diabetes, anxiety, depression, mm -hmm. highs, wrinkles, pimples, acne. You know, mm -hmm. there are so many. It's so many digestive issues. There are so many. I just named a few here. So right. it's very very important that the stress has to be treated on right time. As I said, there are two types of stress. One is the like living the short term stress and one is the long term stress. Mm -hmm. So the short term stress, if we know how to deal with it, we will never land up into long term stress. Right. And short term stress is easy to react, easy to manage, handle. So just there are a few techniques as we go ahead, we will learn about them and then it will become easier. So, okay, this is one thing which is very, very important, but not many people know mm -hmm. about it. So, I thought I should bring it here. Mm -hmm. We always think about just one brain. Oh, I'm very, my brain is very busy. I'm very busy, very occupied. My brain, I cannot do this. We have a second brain. And where is our second brain? Our mm -hmm. second brain is in our digestive system. Mm -hmm. You will not believe our intestines, our digestive system, they also have neurotransmitters. They, they produce, they have neurons inside which, which also produce neuro, uh, neuro signals which they sell, send it here and there. It also produces hormones like serotonin, the dopamine. These hormones are very, very important for us. They, they are the happy hormones. They keep us going. Right. If these hormones are not there in our body, we cannot be happy. So for us to be happy, balanced, not stressed, these the, the gut flora, the internal part of our intestine should be very, very healthy. Right. It should be balanced. This is very important because usually I have seen that, you know, sometimes there is no other issue. It's only the food habits. Right. The flora gets disturbed and there's a lot of stress. Mm. Okay. Now, since I have explained what is stress, now we come to what is the Ayurvedic approach of stress. Mm. So, first of all, let's talk about Ayurveda. I, in, see, we all are made up of bones, muscles, organs, right? We, it's basically cells. Cells come together to make organs. Organs come together to make our body. And we are covered with muscles and bones and skin and everything. But Ayurveda has a complete different approach. 
Of course, we are all made up of this. Nobody denies with all these organs. But Ayurveda says we are made up of, made the main, you know, the constituent of our body is the five elements. Space, air, fire, water, and earth, right? These are the main five elements. These five elements come together and then they form three life forces. They are called Vat, Pit, and Kaf. These are the three doshas. Okay. Everybody must have heard, you know, like Ayurveda talks about doshas, doshas. So these are the three doshas. Each of us, we all are made up of all these three doshas. We are born with the particular proportion of these doshas. Each one has their own ratio. No two person, even the twins will not have the same ratio. Okay. Somebody can have high vat, somebody can have high pit, somebody can high, have high cuff. But all the three doshas are going to be present in the body. Each of the doshas have their functions. These three doshas form our body, right? So what does the vat do? All the movements that are happening in our body. Like when I'm raising my hand or when my heart is beating, my eyes are blinking. When I'm talking, all the movements are happening because there is existence of vat in my body. All the metabolic activities that are happening, digestion, hormones, production, that is all because of pit. So if I don't have the pit, I will not have the hormones and, and like activities are happening. I'm alive. That is because of pit. Similarly, cuff gives the structure to the body. That is why, you know, the bones, muscles to bring it together, that is all made by the cuff, the, the life force cuff. So all the three are important and they are all present in our body. And yes, tell me. Yeah. Can you re-explain the what? And so what is basically when you move, the movement part, yes. right? Okay. Yeah. And pit was the hormones part. Okay. Yeah, body. the metabolic activities that happen in the body that are because of pit. Okay. So, and the kappa was what? It gives a structure to the body. Like we have this body, it's a solid part. Can bring what the and pit together? Is that what kappa does or it's something separate? No, so they are all together. They are all interrelated also. They work together. Okay. okay. It's a teamwork. It's a team of Vat, Pit and Kapha. We living beings are a teamwork of Vat, Pit and Kapha. Okay. Somebody's written Kapha is connective tissues? Uh, it, it also is connective tissues. Okay. So okay. It is also. So muscles, organs, everything all come under Kapha. Kapha makes, Kapha makes them. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So, these, time lagega, mein, but chalo, yeah. <laughs> so basically, you know, what we, what, what everybody has to understand is our body is made up of three, three elements. These are Vat, Pit and Kapha. Okay. So, and we are born with a particular proportion. That is what is more important, right? Okay. Now, how do we find out what is my proportion? Correct. So if you go online, just go and do dosha test. There are infinite dosha tests online maybe just later one. i will ask you which is a good one and with this video we will post a particular yeah. one I will. On Google yeah sure i will share. i want to find out what is my which what, what is your doing? body type it's yeah. called body type this helps you to find out the body type okay. so once you know your body type once you know your body type then things become very easy hmm. then things become very easy okay. now what is stress Stress is the imbalance of the vata. Vata is the first dosha that we've talked about. Movement dosha. Movement dosha. Okay. So what happens is when there is an imbalance, then like the hormones start moving in Ayurveda, we say those chemicals that are produced because of fear, because of anxiety, because of uh, all the stress and everything, the, the hormones that are produced, that, that the vata takes it in different direction. Wherever it takes it, we get the symptoms. So all the treatment that will be done is to just pacify one. Okay. So that is the only approach that Ayurveda takes. That's why it's very, very simple. So we will eat bath pacifying food. We will do bath pacifying activities. And that's it. And we are done. We are ready. Okay. okay. Not so difficult. Okay. Okay. So, let's go ahead. Now, okay. This is something very, very uh, important. As I said, Ayurveda talks only in terms of bath, pit, and kapha, right? Mm -hmm. So the whole day from morning to night 
is again divided into bath time, pith time and cuff time. ये तो मैं तो सोती रहती हूँ छह बजे सुबह के तो ये प्रॉब्लम Ah, okay. So, uh, so, so not only the day, you know, even the season, the whole year has been divided into vat, pith, and kaf. Okay. That is why Ayurveda. Okay, I think Krish wants to ask something. Later, yeah. later, Krish. Ah, uh, questions later, बच्चे लोग. जब मुझे questions आ गए तो ठीक है पर ये तुम्हारे बाकी हम पूछेंगे क्योंकि flow टूट जाता है जब explain कर रहे हैं. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm very happy that way. That that's better for me also. Yeah. yeah. So here, what I want to tell is. Ayurveda believes in daily regime. It also believes in seasonal regime. Okay, okay. So where you know we take in take care of the vat, pith, kapha, and accordingly we decide the food. Isiliya, you must have seen India. May every season there is specific food we eat. Hmm. Like you know, in winters we will eat tilki la, tilki laddu, tilki gaja, and there's a lot of nuts. and uh, in summer we will have watermelon and we will have mangoes and we'll have lot of curd and yogurt this is because of the season okay like okay. season is that is that season has is connected to the doshas when mm-hmm. some doshas are high we make sure that we eat specific food to pacify those doshas right okay. mm-hmm. similarly now as i said the day is divided according to these three doshas mm-hmm. so first let's see from morning 6 o'clock If you see it here, from morning six o'clock till ten o'clock, it's a kaf dosha prominent time. Hmm. From ten to two, it's pitta dosha prominent time, and then two to six is vat dosha prominent time. Hmm. Then it repeats again from six to ten is kapha, then pitta, and then vat. Okay, so now let's start from six o'clock in the morning. Hmm. What if one is sleeping during that time? Yeah, no worries. That's no the best worries. time it to sleep. Right? Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the best time to sleep, right? We all love to sleep, yeah. and it's always good. Okay. So now, by six o'clock, the sun is already up, right? Right. And according to the Ayurveda, because this is the kapha time, yeah. it's the best time to exercise. Oops. Okay. Yeah. So why we use this is see if we follow this, then we get better results. You see mm-hmm. many people talking. I have been exercising so much, but I don't get good results. Mm-hmm. People will be going to the gym. They do yoga, but you know they will say that my one kg bhi wasn't shift nahi ho raha hai. Mm-hmm. So this is where we follow. We this comes in help mm-hmm. to do the right things at right time. Okay. So, anyways, I will come to more details. Ki when, as you said, koi so raha to kya karenge? We'll come to that also slowly. We will have options there also. What to do? So, see, when it's kapha time, this is the best time to exercise if you want to lose weight. Hmm. This is the best time. This morning time, it's not. We are not saying that morning eight o'clock me hi apko exercise karna. It's between six to ten. This is the best time to exercise if you want to lose weight. Oh, acha. Okay. Yeah, Secondly, so मेरे मेरा बुद्धि आ रहा है तो I'm going to try to do that. <laughs> Lose some weight. Yes, yes, of course. That's very important. Uh-huh. Secondly, you know, also uh, there's a sleep hormone called melatonin. Right. Now we all sleep when there is melatonin in our body. Mm-hmm. Morning में seven thirty the melatonin stops the body stops producing melatonin. Mm. Now, as soon as the body stops producing melatonin, immediately our digestive system starts working. So, हमको भूख लगेगी. We will have the nature's call. हमको we'll have to go and clear our bowels. So, all these things happen at this time. Okay. So, this is the best time to like exercise, clear the bowels. Make your morning schedule. Go out. Look at the sun. Vitamin D. It's the best to get ourselves the vitamin D in the morning. Right. Okay. You know there are many people who wake up early in the morning, but they don't go out and see the sun mm-hmm. because their life is like a machine. Utna hai, ye karna hai, school jana hai. It's like so busy. Just spend. I would request just spend two minutes. Go out and just spend two minutes to look at the sun. Mm-hmm. you get such beautiful energy from sun it gives you such positive vibes you will see a difference in the whole day right 
सो यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम देयर सो बेसिकली सिक्स टू टेन के बीच में फॉर बेस्ट रिजल्ट यू एक्सरसाइज यू कैन योर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम स्टार्ट वर्किंग सो यू नो लाइक देर आर चिल्ड्रन हु कॉन्स्टिपेशन ठीक से बॉल मूवमेंट्स नहीं हो रहा है रेगुलेट नहीं हो रहा है कोई बोलता है मैं तो दोपहर में जाता हूँ टॉयलेट कोई बोलता है रात को जाता हूँ That is why it is important to wake up at time on time, like at least by seven thirty. That means six to seven thirty. के बीच में आप उठ जाएं, because melatonin finishes. See, after the melatonin stops, if the body stops producing melatonin, you are sleeping just for the sake of sleeping. It's not helping you. You, you if you think that I'm very tired, I'm trying to cover up my sleep. Your body is not. It's not helping your body. It is making you feel more lethargic. you keep on sleeping and you will not feel like waking up so that is why this is important then you go to the second part of the day where it's from 10 to 2 10 to 2 is the pitta time pitta time if you remember i said is a metabolic time mm-hmm. this is the time where your body can digest anything and everything okay. so you can have the heaviest meal eat whatever food you want to eat even if you want to eat the junk food like you know a heavy pizza or if you want to have cake pastries this is the best time so this is the heaviest meal this is the time where you can have the heaviest meal do all those things your your brain is very active at this point so you can you know organize the day plan study this is the best time to study so do the so this you can keep this time of the day to study so if you only wake up at i i know kids nowadays wake up 10 o'clock 12 o'clock so you're missing the study time focus time mm. then you come to the third part of the day it starts at from 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock so basically you know i normally say if you have to take some important decisions if you have to be creative do something like you know make some project or something then you know working between like it would i would say 2 to 3 or 1 to 3 is the best time so it's a cusp it's a mixture of the pitta time and the vata time so you get both the benefits your creativity is best at that time so you can get you know your assignments can be best if you want to make some presentations your work will be the best at this point so this is how this part helps and if you want to socialize you want to achieve something this is the best time here and you know like by 6 o'clock it's good to 6 6:30 is by 7 you should finish your dinner mm-hmm. why finish your dinner by 6:37 because after 6 to 10 here is the kapha time again beginning so when it's kapha time the body becomes lethargic metabolism goes down the digestion slows down so whatever you eat after that is not going to be digested properly mm. if it is not going to be digested then there is going to be indigestion burps headache acidity all those problems right mm. now there can be problems like okay i was studying i have tuitions i cannot eat on time so i would suggest before going for your classes suppose you leave at 5 o'clock have something heavy eat a good meal and go and when you come back you can have something light hmm you can have a glass of milk you can have some fruits you can have something lighter so you can have some nuts after that so that i'm not saying you telling that you should starve but what has to be eaten when is very important right so that it is digested properly and our body can absorb it properly and you can relax because you know once the food is digested sleep becomes easier Now here, nine thirty, the melatonin secretion starts. Mm. When the melatonin secretion starts, basically the body is starting to sleep. It's preparing the body to go to sleep, and when the body is preparing to sleep, that means, if you remember, I said in the starting, when the melatonin stops secretion, mm. the digestion starts. Here, when the melatonin starts, the digestion stops. so whatever you have eaten after that stays in your stomach until next day morning right no digestion is going to happen suppose i had my dinner after 10 o'clock mm. then that food is going to stay inside my tummy there only yeah. and then there will be you know acidity indigestion diarrhea constipation all those problems yeah that's so, why most indians are extremely overweight because of this they eat late 
in most yeah. India, India, it's yes. after now, ten bajes, or then sabka pet aisa nikla hota hai. Everybody, Actually, women, men, sabke saath tha. Exactly, I totally, totally agree with you, and I see also. So you know, anybody who comes to me tells that they want to lose their weight, I say finish your dinner before seven. That is the first thing I tell them. Right. And of course, if you're hungry, you can. But exactly what you pointed out is right, and I'm very happy. You know, mm. we are meeting youngsters at this point. We're talking to teenagers. They can understand this point, and they can correct this habit. You know, so they can learn, and this will be the important takeaway for them. And also, when the digestion is happened, you know, food is good, then the sleep is very good. The body can focus on sleeping. Right. Now, when the pitta time comes here, this is the best time to sleep. the body goes into the deep sleep hmm. but suppose somebody is awake in the night you are losing the deep sleep time the relaxing time if somebody only goes to sleep at 2 o'clock in the night so the deep sleep time has already gone it's gone hmm. so after that the person sleeps that sleep is you know like a very light sleep the person will not the brain will not relax mm. so even though the you sleep you feel that oh mama i did not sleep properly i need to sleep more please don't wake me up because this is this is the wrong cycle you are going against your body you are thinking you are what you understand 8 hours sleep is important 6 hours sleep is important but the right timing is also important here the body is already of waking up the melatonin secretion has already started reducing so if there is less melatonin the body is started like you know it's not in deep sleep the sleep has become light and now if you do not do, do not wake up or like you basically I, the body is now warming up slowly to wake up but if you say that this is my time to sleep the body is not ready you are going against the body so you will not have good results right so on the whole what what the ayurvedic clock says is you should wake up latest you know between 6 to 7:30 and sleep between 8 to 10 10:30 like you know do not go beyond 12 because 2 o'clock is a 12 to 2 is the best time to sleep in fact 12 to 4 is the best time to sleep so if you have studies if you want to work i would just advise my advice following ayurveda is 12 to 4 is a sleep time before that you can be awake study and wake up at 4 o'clock and do your work mm. many people will say that i am a night person i am a day person try this and then see the results see the grades that you get see the achievements you get it will be completely mesmerizing you'll be really happy okay i was just reading this 2 pm pe likha hai high metabolism but you are saying exercise at that time agar se 2 baje exercise kiya to so see the high metabolism is for digestion ah uh, okay not for like exercise wala metabolism no 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 so exercise humko tab karna hai jab body is in a low weaker like you know it's in the cuff position and if you don't exercise then then you will gain weight acha If you, if the body is already in a high metabolism, and if you exercise, hmm. then there is the metabolism will go very high. This is how people get into hyperthyroidism. Well, the how do you get into hyperthyroidism? Sorry, please. So, repeat. so people who exercise during the this timing, you know, the people huh. who exercise during huh. this timing. See, there is a light exercise if they're just walking, it's fine. But you know, weightlifting, aerobic. very intense exercise if you do at this time it becomes hyperthyroidism oh hyper means ja zyada patle ho jaate hain yeah active the, the thyroid gets too active and then it starts producing too much of hormones oh acha to maine main apna exercise time change karna chahiye because generally main 1:30 because mere appointments hote hain subah se so mujhe wohi ek time milta hai you know to exercise but okay i should take care of this and try to i'll try to move it Yes, you can try to move. Otherwise, don't do a high impact exercise at that time. Do the other ones, you know, the the yoga ones or the the. I uh, mean, like some lighter ones this time, and do the on the other times. Okay, okay, got okay. it. So this does help, you know. I I normally my treatment goes through this, and if you follow this, you will see a big difference. In fact, I would say, you know, nowadays there's so much of dietitians doing things; they're all following this. Okay. 
they will not directly tell you this but they are all following this eat food at this time walk do activities this is what it is this is the basic behind everything okay let's go ahead now since we have understood what is the importance of following the clock right hmm. now when we follow this clock we will automatically keep all our doshas in balance hmm. when we keep the doshas in balance we will not have any stress there will be no anxiety no fear so so see this this the ayurvedic clock it's called ayurvedic clock in ayurveda and it's been there it's an ancient clock but the modern world calls it for certain okay, yeah. so whatever it is as far as you follow it that's important right so the modern world has you know awarded nobel nobel awards to the three scientists to to talk about all these things but ayurveda has been talking this for 5000 years now anyways now healthy food habits it's very important that we eat on right time so that our body can digest it as i said in the morning the food should be lighter the lunch should be the heaviest meal in the evening you can have a heavy meal before 6 but mm-hmm. after 6:37 your meal should be right lighter ones that's why i say healthy food habits you know and avoid eating after 10 o'clock because it doesn't get digested mm-hmm. similarly exercise and yoga now as i said morning time is good for exercise yoga meditation you can do it in the afternoon also of course best results are in the morning but still you can do it in the afternoon if you do if you follow the rhythm the circadian rhythm you will have the best results okay if you go against it there can be some imbalance you will get some results but something else is getting imbalance so you are like stopping one problem but increasing the other one you know so that is where the problem happens mindfulness meditation it really helps okay basically especially this world this world you know nobody knows to do nothing they have to do something if nothing else they will look at their phone just fidget with the screen do something or the other so mindfulness and meditation is something is nothing else but you know just doing nothing if doing nothing is difficult then focus on doing one thing multitasking you know there was a time where people would say use your time multitask but multitasking has become a biggest problem it has it has produced a lot of stress one of the sources of stress right. so i recommend do not multitask focus on one thing finish it you will be more productive right physical activities again they are very very important physical activities help you to produce serotonin dopamine they are the they are the most important hormones in our body and physical so it's you know like e games now there we have got e games we have e socialization it's very important that you go out in public and do some socialization do some physical activities sports whatever do something organize your day you know this is something very important for every person whether it's a student whether it's a office going person whether it's a homemaker whoever it is you have to have a routine this is my work time this is my food time this is my uh, activity time because you know then you have a day you have a structure to the day when you do not then then there comes panic there comes anxiety oh i i have to do this i did not do this so mm-hmm. we should organize our day so that we don't fall into that trap where there is anxiety fear panic situation of course everybody should have a 15 minutes 10 minutes of the relaxation time down time where you can think about how was the day what went good you can be grateful you you can do a gratitude time where these things went well i'm very happy about it and if some things did not go good just go back look at it see what how it, it could be better you know what could be done the reflection helps you to have a better next day it gives you a peaceful sleep and a peaceful night so it's very important that even if you don't have half an hour one hour it's, it's too much 5 minutes 2 minutes whatever you can afford to put it please get into all these habits the earlier you develop this habits you will have a much much smoother life and healthier life okay now foods to reduce stress as i said having regular meals is the most important thing now whole grains whole food beans and lentils are the most important food why i'm talking about whole grains you know the 
whole grains are very good they make it they give you all the possible positive things for your body the gut the flora that we spoke about which should which is the second brain if you remember the whole grains help to build the flora mm. if you use the processed food the processed food kills the flora so mm. when you are killing the flora you are imbalancing the vat and there you get the stress again mm. beans lentils are very important sources of protein you can of course you can have you can have fish you can have eggs but red meat again too much of red meat is not good because it again increases the it's it's a processed type and it, it increases too much it disturbs the flora intestinal flora okay. then adding juicy magnesium rich fruit is fruits is very important because magnesium is very important for the brain for the muscles you know the muscles get into twitching because of stress drinking herbal teas herbal tea is very very good so children students who are studying who need tea i would say take herbal tea instead of caffeine you know caffeine free teas are important coffee caffeine is not so good because it has got a lot of side effects in the body instead of that you can have brahmi tea you can have tulsi tea you can have ginger tea there are so many good herbal teas which will help you pacify pacify the doshas and mm. keep everything in place it will help you in digestion it will help you the chamomile tea there are so many teas you can use Hmm. include unsaturated food fats when i say unsaturated fats i'm talking about nuts i'm talking about olive oil i'm talking about avocado include this these are brain tonics they help your brain the brain is nothing but only made up of fats hmm. so it's very important that you use the healthy fats do not use the saturated fats because saturated fats are not going to it's it's going to damage your brain it's not going to help your brain we want to do everything that can make our brain function better be healthier and we can live a longer and a better healthier life right. eat nutritious fiber rich fresh food why i'm talking about first is fresh food because if the food is not fresh there is lot of indigestion fiber is important because we do not want into constipation it becomes very difficult you know the flora is disturbed because of constipation nutritious because if all the minerals are present automatically the body runs well and there is no 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 chance for stress to come in place so now there are specific yogas which can help us get out of stress belly breathing so belly breathing is very easy very common in india right you can you can do it it's like uh, lom vilom bhastrika pranayam so basically taking your breath like taking your tummy in and out mm-hmm. it's very important mountain pose parvatasan it's again very yeah, easy what is mountain pose aisa kuch aisa yeah, yes, this is this is parvatasan just just standing and pulling yourself up not so not see, like one leg on top of the other move just no, like no, 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 just aise aise dekha da stand so this is basically stretching your body all oh. right you're sitting down so it's stretching your body that's the main thing you stretch because you know students land up sitting sitting students even adults sitting on work they just land up sitting 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 so it's very important to do the mountain pose every half an hour one hour just stand up and just stretch and then you can again sit ujjayi breathing also helps ujjayi breathing is a type of breathing which we breathe through the throat you can get a sound there it's a specific type of ujjayi breathing and uh, you know there's also shri shri ravi shankar's a uh, uh, sudarshan kriya okay you mean art of living wala art of living wala they do get so need to help with that because i i yeah, they, they teach ujjayi breathing ujjayi breathing also helps a lot with stress it's okay. very good so we are we are giving options you know whatever suits whoever gets whatever wo le sakte child pose is very easy it's it's just sitting down and stretching it's again under stretch child yeah. pose if you just put it online and just look for the child yeah, pose yeah i know what that then you know it's always as i said focus meditation doing nothing is important if you cannot do nothing then do one thing so chanting something whatever you like you can chant sometimes i even say if you like a song just sing a song that is also okay mm-hmm. just but do one thing focus one thing not like the music is going on in the ear and you are doing some work on your laptop and you're you know like i don't even believe in exercising and listening to music acha if you are exercising focus on exercising 
mm-hmm. listen to your body how your body is working at that time okay. because you know when you're talking to somebody on the phone or listening to music your heart is there so your body is not getting 100% benefit okay. again bridge pose is it also helps to relax the muscles the tightening of the muscles it relaxes and it also helps the hormones to settle well so okay. these are the few exercises whatever suits and whatever see every body's condition is different so i would not randomly say okay these are the exercises start doing it from today mm-hmm. please take some expert help and see which one suits you mm-hmm. it's very important but these are the list i can give you you can go and check what suits you and then you can do it okay. right mm-hmm. i wouldn't want somebody you know not having some back issue and just immediately doing a bridge pose i wouldn't want that right so it depends on the body of course mountain pose everybody can do child pose everybody can do which everything but bridge pose you have to be a little careful okay now ayurvedic supplements so we all hear you know lot of ayurvedic supplements coming around and some of the supplements are really very very good especially ashwagandha and shatavari are they the same word i mean oh, no. they are two different things uh, they are I two they are the same okay because so, it was written slash na to mujhe laga yeah i didn't slash because somebody who is taking ashwagandha will not take shatavari and how are they both different in what way so it depends on the body type vat pitta and kapha what is your constitution for some people ashwagandha suits for some people shatavari suits ah so ashwagandha is for what kind of people so ashwagandha is more for vat people vat okay And like born body type who have got vat vat okay and, and people just, who are pit who have got pit like you know people who are very hyper in metabolism who are, okay. who suffer from acidity issues or in digestion they should take shatavari they should not take ashwagandha so if you have pit shatavari i mean stress if you're a born body type is pit you should take that one yeah. okay so, but both of these medicines like ashwagandha and shatavari both of these supplements help in stress okay okay and how does brahmi help so see the difference is ashwagandha and shatavari mm-hmm. they are like brain tonics okay. they help to uh, they help to strengthen the brain okay and brahmi helps you to focus to keeps you it keeps you calm okay So I normally say I take a combination like take brahmi in the morning and take ashwagandha or shatavari at night bed time. Okay. So it always helps especially you know exam times or college going university going even work you know anybody I would say this combination is the best it's like it's like eating food. Okay. You can always take it. So basically course, shatavari and ashwagandha is more like a brain tonic. Yeah. and brahmi is for calming yourself down more so yes and that should be taken in the morning brahmi and evening either one of these depends if you are pitta dosh then you are taking shatavari if you are uh, vata then you take ashwagandha yes am i getting it right okay yeah kapha can also take ashwagandha kapha can also take ashwagandha okay fine okay now mm-hmm. again why do i say omega 3 fatty acids why mm-hmm. do i say that because i said the brain is only made up of fats okay so it's very important to have fat you know normally people want to lose weight they don't want to take fat right now when they don't take fat they they have memory loss okay they they have focus loss they cannot remember things they cannot focus they cannot be creative so it's very important to take the right type of fats right Right. like omega 3 fatty acids is again olive oil avocado nuts these are mm-hmm. flax seed pumpkin seeds chia seeds these are all omega 3 fatty acids mm. similarly vitamin d is very 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 important mm. vitamin d helps to produce serotonin in body serotonin is a happy hormone it's very very important vitamin d of course if you can go and sit in the sun that is the best thing if you cannot then you have to take the supplements Mm-hmm. that's very important right now you know stress also produces a lot of inflammation in the body it's vice versa inflammation in the body for because of the wrong food or the wrong cycle the wrong habits mm-hmm. there's a lot of inflammation in the body and then stress follows mm-hmm. sometimes there is stress for some other reason and then the stress is followed by inflammation 
सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव कर्क्यूमिन ठीक है But if because you know now with the modern exposure fusion food, children don't like to eat Indian food. Right. So that's where if you are not having at least one meal Indian food, then you better take supplements. Curcumin, pepper, pepper. You know, there's a, it should be a combination. You will find curcumin separate tablets. Do not take only curcumin. There should be pepperin in it. Pepperin is black pepper. only curcumin you will not get it is not absorbed properly it does it doesn't give you the right results and it should be taken with fats because it only dissolves in fat it, if you just swallow one capsule and with water it's just getting out you you're just wasting your money and you're not getting any benefit so that's very important last but the most important tea ginger tea cinnamon tea cardamom tea clove tea whatever suits you whatever taste you like whatever flavor you like these are the teas introduce these teas in your life mm. even tulsi tea even mulechi tea you can take you can have a mixture you know a lot of green tea increases your metabolism it also produces palpitation mm. it is also a cause of stress so please like it produces anxiety so i you know green tea has become a fashion coffee has become a fashion please you take it once a day it's okay a small quantity is fine but during the whole day if you feel like drinking something take something warm because warm drinks pacify vata we want to pacify vata so that we don't get into that condition mm. so that's why herbal teas are very very important okay this is some small therapies i'm telling sharing with you some of the things you can do it at home by yourself and some of the things you will have to take some help from therapist so the abhyanga abhyanga is nothing but oil massage or oil bath again for massage you will have to take some help so i'm just asking you to do a oil bath take mm-hmm. oil the way you take moisturizer and apply it all over the body just take sesame oil or coconut oil in your hand rub it all over your body leave it for 15 to 20 minutes and take a shower mm-hmm. this is one of the best remedy to pacify vata to pacify stress just by applying oil on your body if you can pacify then why go to those anti depressant tablets anti stress tablets right second is foot massage you can soak your foot in oil if you think oil is too much to soak you soak your foot in water in warm water add some salt to it that is also relaxing it helps calm your brain it helps it 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 you know these these therapies are very easy and you can always do it any time you are studying and you just soak your foot into water it's so easy it's not going to take extra effort right it's not going to kill your time nasal drops now in ayurveda we use oil drops when we when i'm talking about oil drops it's it can be oil drops it can be ghee drops now nasal drops directly are brain tonic the nasal passage is directly connected to the brain so when you're doing the nasal drops you're doing oil drops or the uh, ghee drop you are nourishing your brain so mm. you're increasing the capacity of your brain to to work to in difficult situations to take right decisions so it really helps so these are the three things you can do it at home you know you don't need to take somebody's help of course shirodhara shirodhara is this is what i'm talking about this is shirodhara and uh, this shirodhara you need to go to a th- clinic you know there are lots of clinics ayurveda clinics panchkarma clinics they do it and physical is also a type of massage which is also done in the clinic so you cannot but these two are also very very good if the stress level is very high and you find like okay these three things are not helping you so much or if you have time go and do this if you have time before your exam go and do shirodhara it is very very you know like i would say 
it replenishes your energy it's very very calming it gives you positive vibes it gives you it makes you ready again you're charged okay so these are small reminders we all know it i'm not going to, i'm not giving anything new in this slide but everybody knows it but you know we all forget in the situation slow down we want to achieve everything in 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 this moment we want to achieve everything we we need to remember that everything has its own time and own pace so do not rush think positive listen to your body remember to take care of yourself spend time with nature spend time with pets you know instead of spending time with so many machines go and do something outside right right take up some hobbies hobbies should not be on the screen again hobbies should be off screen outside the like outside the chair do something whatever you can do help others you know helping others also sometimes people feel that oh i myself cannot manage myself what am i going to help others but helping others is and it's boosting you know it gives you it gives you a feeling of achievement that oh you are capable of doing something you're helping others it really helps you so always try forget about your problems and go out and help others it really helps get strength from friends never think that oh i'm not going to share that i'm going through this tough time friends are there take the positive energy from them always have positive friends if you find some friends are negative be away from them just do not they, they will they will be just sucking your energy make realistic goals look at yourself understand what if you're if you're very good artist then think about artist as your think to take art as your profession and don't think of going to a business school you know you have to always make realistic goals don't take a sat score of i want a sat score of 16 to 100 that's that that's do whatever your you are what is right for you use social media in a healthier way do not make it like don't make it don't look at it and start stressing competition and it becomes my friend is going to that college i want to go to that my friend is going to that party my friend is wearing that my friend is doing that don't do all those things look into yourself and be happy every person is beautiful inside we just have to tap the beauty right so that's it here i say dear stress let's take let's break up with you we don't want you to be in our life thank you very much this thank is you so much shilpa that was amazing side. i think i can stop sharing right yeah, so that we can take some thank you so much that was really enlightening abhi bhi mujhe thoda wapas dekhna padega to understand wo kappa pitta and all of that stuff so uh, that's really good thank you so much for explaining in detail okay uh, so somebody had asked how can i understand which dosha dominates so i'm going to post a link Uh, with this video after dr shilpa gives it to me so that we can uh, all examine what type of body type we have and once we understand the body type i think you had explained the clock when we do that but let's assume ki wo clock humne samajh liya to agar se ek particular body type hai anything besides a regular aapne jo stress ke liye bola anything else if we are or all have the same kind of uh, thing that we need to do once we find out what body type we are then what do we do yeah once you find what body type you are then you know we can adjust little bit so that is one on one we'll have to do we cannot like i cannot generalize for everybody so somebody if somebody has a high cuff time then i'm going to say that this is your food time this is your sleep time you can, we can have a range we can change some things for them okay okay according to their so fast and furious road thank you so much for the session uh, it's really helping him i'm glad it's helping you okay how to balance vata and kapha i think we explained that uh, in the whole clock it was unless the questions were not explained in the ppt then you ask but uh, somebody has written but don't you think after lunch as we feel lazy we may not be creative at 1 to 3 pm even i had the same question because generally zyada khane ke baad neend aati hai to uska kya kiya jaye so see when i say have the meal i'm not saying ki bas khana khao aur kaam karne baith jao if you know you want to do some cre- creative things eat like the the block is 10 to 2 right mm-hmm. so you can have it at 12 o'clock and then give it a time to digest and then do your creative work right 
Okay. So not necessarily jump right into it after your... Yeah, jump right into it and not necessarily that every day you're going to have that same heavy meal, right? You know that you have to do something. So you can that day just have a lighter meal but on the heavier side, right? Because if you are very hungry, you will not be able to eat a lot. If you eat a lot, you will not be able to eat a lot. Just because she said that that's the time to eat all the you know, pizza, pizza, but it doesn't mean that you don't have to eat a lot. You don't have to eat a lot for your day. Yeah, so, so yeah. exactly, Rachna. What I want to say is when I said heavier meal, I meant this in the whole day. This is the heaviest meal. But yes, once in a way, if somebody wants to also include pizza and all, it's better to eat the pizza during the daytime or any processed food during the daytime rather than eating at the night. I'm not telling that you to eat heavy meals every day. I am not saying that. <laughs> I know. So, log ne wo wrong leke, fir bolo ke weight gain ho gaya hai and all of it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, kisi ka question hai, we have heard using screens suppress melatonin hormone and disrupt sleep. So that what measures should we keep in mind? Yes, this is a very nice question. See, the, the screen does not allow the melatonin to be produced. And if you're working on the screen, whether it's a handphone or whether it's a laptop, if you're working on the screen till the time you want to sleep, you know, till the last minute, then uh, your body is actually not producing the melatonin. The body is tired and then you fall asleep, but the body is not relaxing. For your body to relax, melatonin is important. And to produce melatonin, the screen has to be switched off. That is why at least, at least 30 to 45 minutes before your sleep time, you should be off screen. No handphones, no laptops. That's why book reading, listening to music, relaxing, talking to family, that's important. Yeah, even I have seen these. Kids, we are all the same. Everybody, everybody. We are all the same. We are on the phone. 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 And when we are on the phone, that's the only time there. And some people don't think about the phone off. Which is so bad. Because I don't know how people can sleep with a ting, ping, ching and the light going on. It's so irritating. So please switch off your phones. Half and like, I do it for my son. I don't do it myself, which is also very bad. Uh, my son is told that half an hour before your bedtime, no laptop, no iPad, no phones. You'll either read or you'll play with your toys or whatever, but none of it. So, but no screen. Humne, uh, humne no screen. Or please, apna phone off karke so, bacha lo. Achha, so powder supplement or capsule supplement, which is better? And is Himalaya good? Because <laughs> all we see is Himalaya here, Himalaya there. So, which... Yeah, yeah, Himalaya is good. Uh, so whatever, both are fine. Powder is also good and uh, supplements are also good. Whatever is easy for you to take, it's fine. No problem. So this is the powder and the capsule. This is the more processed version, right? Of all this. Yeah. So what is it that when it comes to capsule form, like direct from the dealer who is making like fresh... Ayurveda stuff, is that what you get in India? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you can also do this. You can buy the ashwagandha sticks. Oh. You can also buy the ashwagandha sticks and you can boil it and just drink tea. Directly, ashwagandha tea. Or you can buy the sticks and then pound it at home in the mixer, grind it. Yeah. You can do that too. Okay. And suppose, let's assume that I don't have, like, I do have stress, but I'm not, like, worked up all the time because yes you have your work and all that so for a person like me who doesn't have like like students ka stress exam ke time to wo bhoat zada hota hai is there like daily measure of ashwagandha that we should take or it's not good to like take it daily what is your suggestion what is the so I would say I would say if there's no stress if there's no stress then don't take brahmi don't take brahmi just take ashwagandha because ashwagandha is a tonic okay it's good for the Ashwagandha brain. Ashwagandha, it's, it's for the brain and it's for the body also. It's a good tonic. Okay. Overall, it, it increases the immunity also. It increases, it's, 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 got, it's got multifunctions. Okay. So Ashwagandha is good, but no stress, don't take one. Okay. And uh, that other one, what was it? I forgot. Shatavri. Shatavri. Ah. So that so, also don't... Oh, so Ashwagandha is... or Shatavri. Suppose if somebody... Depends on the type of the body like you said. Yeah, if you start taking Ashwagandha and if you get palpitations or if you cannot sleep, then you shift to Shatavri. Ah, so That's the easier way. That's the easier way. way. You know, like if you cannot find out, if you don't go to a doctor, 
either an expert like an ayurvedic expert can check you and tell that oh ashwagandha will suit you or shatavi will suit you but okay. another option is take ashwagandha tablets for few days and if you are fine you just continue if you are not fine then go for shatavi okay and when the students have extra stress during the exams then take yeah. the brahmi and yeah. Brahmi. yeah students can continue brahmi even for the regular time because they can focus in their studies okay. because they need to focus the, if they only want to focus for the exams so baad mein khaye agar they want to focus the whole year then they can eat always acha to isme koi side effect per se nahi hai ki kuch issue ho okay krishav you have a question i can un- tell you to unmute uh... yeah sure uh ma'am my uh ma'am the first of all the pre- the the presentation is great i the one thing that stood out for me was the clock and how you have made uh, the pointers on the sides and the and and, uh, and the overall diagram this is the best one i've seen so far regarding the diagram my question is that what if the sun rises at 8 o'clock and it sets at 8 o'clock in my region would the uh kaf pet and vat timings also you know yes. be at yeah, a certain yeah. so how do you know that do you see the uh when the sun is at its peak minus 6 uh, uh minus 6 hours that's when kaf starts or how does it work yes yeah, so normally if this it's like uh if the sun starts whenever the sun rises from that time so after uh, one like one and a half hours you can start the clock okay and what if uh, because during the summer season over here uh, uh i'm based in spain the okay. sun okay. rises early and it sets later in the night like 9 9:30 we you know see sunset during summer <laughs> so that means you have a longer day and like more sun sun time so you can you can you know every we have got slots from 10 to 2 2 to 6 so your slots will increase the timings will increase because the activities the body the body produces hormones according to the sun it is related to the sun and the moonlight right so the span will increase so maybe i can sit and i can make a separate plan for you okay sure i'll uh, reach out and ma'am one more question since i'm already there so i'll make the most of this uh, opportunity what are your thoughts on uh, krifla uh, because i'm looking to balance vat and kaf which are both opposite to each other but uh, like that's a strange uh, combination to have the movement and the laziness at the same time so if you could address i'd really appreciate so see i i am i'm ha- happy to hear this you know i'm seeing that you heard the whole presentation in depth and you could understand what i want to tell so you rightly pointed vat and kaf are exactly opposite to each other what is activity and kaf is just sitting down it's a solid part and this is the hollow part and uh, how do we do it so trifla is the only drug one drug which can work on both so people who have imbalances who have both the imbalances vat pit and kaf all the three imbalances or the two imbalances we give them trifla but how does it help what is it generally what is this trifla for so trifla powder layman understand that trifla is for constipation you know for the bowel movements that is what the layman understand mm. but in ayurveda it's a medicine we use it as a medicine if you use it for if you use it only for bowel movements after some time somebody i i i have patients who start getting loose motions or they get so used to trifla that they get constipated mm. if they don't use trifla so people go into that things but for ayurveda we use it as a medicine to pacify to balance the vat and kaf Mm, okay so if there is a if there's a disease you know there is imbalances happen and some symptoms come up mm. use trifla to pacify them okay 
is there uh, something for sleep i have heard that ashwagandha is a, like the slow release some friend of mine was taking and she started taking it at 6 o'clock 7 o'clock in the evening and then it helped her sleep also or is there something else with the students can take to sleep better no ashwagandha helps in to sleep better that's why i said take ashwagandha at night and brahmi in the morning i don't want them to take ashwagandha in the morning because sometimes if they are drowsy in the day time they cannot focus brahmi helps them to focus ashwagandha helps them to sleep well okay so you can take it little bit closer to the bedtime not like at bedtime it takes yeah 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 you can take it after 6:30 7 any time okay and not at 10 o'clock not at 10 okay how much so if it is if you're taking a powder it is 1 tablespoon of powder okay and if there's a tablet it should not be more than 500 mg for both for all of these which you are saying one one teaspoon is fine yeah, tablespoon yeah. tablespoon or teaspoon this is a general dose then it can change with person to person right this is a general dose but like for 15 and above this is fine one tablespoon fine. there's yeah. no side effect per no se side effect. no okay. side effect. unless they're taking this trifla thingy which can cause okay yeah acha and what about aajkal ke bachche ko receding hairline gray hair jaldi hone lag gaye hain क्या कोई ऑयल्स है या कोई मेडिसिन है जिससे इन, इनका थोड़ा कम हो जाए कि सो यू नो द बेस्ट थिंग आई वुड से ऑयल घी ड्रॉप्स इन द नोज हाउ डज दैट हेल्प एक तो मैं एंड वो लैक्टोस इंटॉलरेंट उसका क्या किया जाए बिकॉज़ आई एम लैक्टोस इंटॉलरेंट आई कैन नॉट टेक द स्मेल ऑफ घी आल्सो सो इज देयर नॉट घी देन यू टेक कोकोनट ऑयल ड्रॉप्स और सेसेमी ऑयल ड्रॉप्स So you're saying it affects the brain, right? It goes direct to the brain. Yes, it it pacifies it. It also see also people lose hair if their testosterone levels go up. Ah, uh, okay. So we have to pacify that also. It depends, you know, in different conditions. Ah, uh, and the teenagers' testosterone is so high during that time. So yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, so that's so why the also... hair fall is very high. That's why they have lot of acne also. Ah, uh, so what about acne? What to do with that? Like when. The... I mean, it's normal to get acne, but children get like really uh, agitated. Yeah, because see, if it is if it is this one is the normal teenager acne, which is like the puberty age, so that too will come and go. We just make sure we eat lighter food so that it doesn't aggravate. Mm -hmm. But if it is stress related or if it is some testosterone related where it's gone very high, we need to see the condition and we need to treat that part. Okay. so was specific hoga iske liye yeah it becomes very specific yeah just just in 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 general if somebody has got a lot of acne i would suggest is black pepper powder okay ye jo hamare sabke ghar mein hota hai na kali mirch ka powder take the kali mirch ka powder mix it with water apply it on the pimple on the acne for 3 days and there will be it will dry completely without leaving any marks but won't it burn the skin no it doesn't nothing happens Okay, somebody Nothing. try it and let me know because yeah, uh, I I I have so many patients have tried it. Don't worry. Okay. I, I can. I tell my daughter. I mean, what I say. See, now we are. One, you know, when young, the so skin was not good. Now we are old. So wrinkles are there, and there is no so much acne. It is just going up and down in life. So that is there. I I wish I had known this like years back. We are. Yes, in fact, in fact, in fact. कुछ है कि हम फालतू में वो साफी पिया करते थे तो साफी इज लाइक अ इट्स बेसिकली इज अ त्रिफला है इट्स इट क्लीन्स द इट डीटॉक्सेस इट क्लीन्स द होल सिस्टम अच्छा ओके सो इट्स गुड टू टेक इट वंस इन अ वे बट नॉट टू मच वंस इन अ वे इट्स गुड इट डीटॉक्सेस अच्छा ओके वंस इन अ वे चिल्ड्रन ये सारा टाइम साफी सेल कर रहा है ना कि रोज रोज लो अच्छा नहीं होता नो नो नॉट एट ऑल इट्स नॉट गुड इट्स वेरी इट्स हार्मफुल इट्स वेरी हार्श फॉर द इंटेस्टाइन फॉर द गट ओ ओके अच्छा किसी ने पूछा है व्हाट आर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ ऑयल पुलिंग पहले तो ऑयल पुलिंग समझाओ तो फिर अब बेनिफिट्स पूछेंगे तो ऑयल पुलिंग इज बेसिकली यू टेक 60 एमएल ऑफ ऑयल यू पुट इट इन द माउथ यू ड्रिंक द ऑयल बेसिकली ड्रिंक एंड होल्ड इट इन द माउथ एंड देन यू कीप ऑन मूविंग द ऑयल इन योर माउथ इट्स फॉर 60 सेकंड्स 60 सेकंड्स आई कैन बेट यू दैट इफ यू स्टार्ट इट फॉर द फर्स्ट डे यू कांट इवन कीप इट फॉर 3 सेकंड्स ओह ओके व्हिच ऑयल बट any specific coconut oil coconut oil basically wo virgin coconut oil, oil. Coconut oil chalega jisme zyada smell nahi hai yeah 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 that's fine a e parachute to baal mein lagate hai parachute wala coconut oil ki baat nahi ho rahi na ye specifically mm -hmm. yeah the, the, the edible oil the edible oil the edible oil, edible oil. oh hey, krisha kuch bhi mat pee le na parachute oil sar pe laga de <laughs> edible oil 
so when you take that oil when you when you take the oil and do oil pulling oil pulling basically you huh you're doing this. yeah you're doing gargle and it has to be in your mouth okay so before we go ahead i want to tell you this ki ye jo baad mein jab isko spit karenge na isko please basin mein spit mat karna kahan karna clog your basin yeah it will clog your basin oh why because it becomes in the mouth uh-huh. it becomes more like a it solidifies oh okay. and when you spit it it will it will clog your basin so it's always good to put it in a bag spit it in a bag and throw it in the dustbin okay that is something for your benefit okay. because it or the, or the commode right or the commode I or the commode yeah or the commode but i don't know you know like commode mein jaake aur ulti nahi aa jaye dhyan rakhna acha par iska benefit kya hai like i'm main agar se thoda sa logic use karu mujhe zyada nahi pata so i'm guessing through the gums the the benefits of the oil is reaching i don't god knows where yeah. so please so sabse first is sensitive teeth theek ho jate hain sensitive gums okay. bleeding gums gingivitis jo hota hai wo sab theek ho jata hai wrinkles khatam ho jate hain oh acha main to kal se start karne wali hu aage ha wrinkles <laughs> chale jate hain also fungal infection many people who have fungal infection in the mouth oh. it helps okay. it helps not so you know, this is the basic it's not like full body ke liye kuch nahi ho raha hai nahi body ke liye nahi hota it's mainly it's mainly for this baki to the face of the body yeah basically no, i have never got one cavity never had any fungal i have never like mera problem sensitive teeth hai kyunki itna brush karti hu ulta doctor mujhse bezar ho chuka hai ki i have never had a cavity but i have to go because i have such sensitive teeth i'm like so particular jab bachpan mein पेरेंट्स इतना फोर्स करते थे दैट आई ग्रो अप विद लाइक परफेक्ट सेट ऑफ टीथ विदाउट कैविटीज बट सेंसिटिव इतना कि आइसक्रीम खाओ ठंडा सो दिस वन इज गुड बट आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर इफ आई कैन कीप द ऑयल वी कैन स्टार्ट स्लोली आई गेस पर क्या रोज करना होता है या एज 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 ऑफन एज यू कैन डू व्हाट यू कैन डू इज इफ यू कैन नॉट डू द ऑयल पुलिंग जस्ट टेक द ऑयल अप्लाई इट ऑन योर टीथ एंड लीव इट फॉर सम टाइम एट लीस्ट स्टार्ट विद दैट ओके 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 समथिंग एट लीस्ट ना Okay, uh, he's writing Rachna, ma'am. You have copper dosh. How the hell do you know that? I don't know myself. How would you reach to that conclusion, Krishap? I don't even know what the hell is copper dosh person was. So how do you... I don't think you are copper dosh. I don't think so. You are copper dosh. What is copper? Do- First, explain what are these dosh. Like, uh, I ma'am, I read this that uh, good hair, that good hair teeth skin uh, mm-hmm. is a sign of a healthy. Uh, Kav dosh. Oh, okay, okay. Acha, acha, actually, let's yeah. let's ask. So, so that's why. Dr. Shilpa is here. हम लोग अपना tipni देने के बजाय इनसे पूछते हैं. So, कैसे क्या किसी को देख के पता चलता है कि कौन सा दोष चल रहा है क्या चल रहा है? See, uh, if Ayurveda, we I I can check the pulse and tell you what your dosha is. Right? That is very that very. That we for dinner yesterday. बट लाइक वेन आई टॉक टू अर्सन आई कैन टेल की वॉट इज वॉट आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग वॉट इज लाइक माई कंट्री आई आई नॉर्मली कैन टेल ओके ओके बट डज दोश चेंज थ्रू आउट लाइफ बिकॉज सपोज योर हॉर्मोनल or yes. your aging your young change so, over yeah see when so again our whole life is divided into three parts three doshas when we are ch- children like in our childhood the kaf dosha is a little bit ha- prominent in our body that activity activity yes. yeah. or matlab see we also prone to get a lot of uh, like uh, kaf diseases na khansi sardi jukam bhi ho jata hai and we are more sitting bacche hote hain aise to matlab theek hai activities bahut hoti hai but you know what how how do i explain is ki we are not uh, thinking so much theek hai jo bol rahe hain kar diya jo we are following everybody mm-hmm. so that is the kaf stiti mm-hmm. and then comes the pit stiti where the second stage of the life is the pit time where we are very active looking the beautiful eating the beautiful doing the most of the activities like the best time of our life is mm-hmm. pit okay. and then the fading time is the 60 after 60 After sixty, that that, that is the one in ten years. We have ten years to. I have. So, ma'am. So, uh, ma'am, what uh, time uh, does the curve dose really dominate? And from when does the 
did this start from which age approximately so pit normally starts after jaise wo acne shuru ho jata hai na puberty ke baad mein so that is that, when the puberty starts that is where the pit starts pit starts coming up and then it starts like puberty ke saath mein and then it's on the peak by the age of 25 30 Okay. Can you tell if someone is in in one of the doshas? Can you explain in which dosh? Like, thoda sa unke baare mein ki agar se kisi ko kapo zada hai, ye pitta zada hai, to kaise behave karte hai ya kaise hote hai? Kya hota hai? Okay, I will give a very very. This is a very simple example to understand. I'm sitting in a car mm-hmm. and I'm going somewhere. ठीक है? अभी बहुत traffic है. रास्ते में बहुत traffic है. If somebody who is Tough dosha, prominent person. Hmm. That person will sit in the car, sit in the car. That person will 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 Hmm. वो बोलता है तुम क्यों ऐसा कर रहे हो तुमने राइट right, पहले निकलने से पहले तुमने गूगल क्यों नहीं किया वाई डेंट यू चेक यू शुड हैव चेक दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड लाइक ही विल बी वेरी मैड रेस्टलेस और जो बात वाला होगा वो तो उसको मतलब गालियां देना शुरू कर देगा ओके सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट वेज अच्छा so but i think sometimes we could have little of everything like you said in the beginning i think we all have and little of everything uh, we all have little of everything but you know in every situation in every stage of our life it changes right hmm so hamara behavior wahi problem jab humko 10 saal pehle when we are young somebody brings in front of us our reaction is different Right, right. 10 years later down the line the same problem our reaction is different because our uh, dosha balance is changed okay okay interesting yeah which i i realized like earlier when we were in jakarta traffic to the are dusra lane dhoond ab baith ke phone pe acha kaun jaenge jab pahunchna hai dekha jayega kya hota hai yeah so oh, that is yeah. the, that is the difference that happens yes krish tell me ek minute i'll unmute you ha bolie Also, ma'am, uh, can you cover the seasons of these uh, doshas in terms of months, as in from which month cough is more dominant? Uh, in which of the months pit is more dominant, bath is more? So uh, the, the I, will, I, I will tell you in the Indian seasons. Indian seasons, it is easier to explain in the Indian season. So the winter is the cuff prominent time. Mm-hmm. Winters is the cuff prominent time. The summer is the pit prominent time, and the rain is the wat prominent time. Okay. So when it's a cuff time, then you have to eat cuff pacifying food. Mm-hmm. So wat increasing food, like the other two doshas, because it's a cuff time, don't eat cuff. वाले खाना ज़्यादा. Don't eat those cuff food. So you eat wat and pit food. That's why you have the warm food there. Wat. So this is how it is. The season wise, the month wise, like four, three, three months, four, four months, we do it, divide it. Okay. And what about overseas? So basically, rainy winters and seasons. That way you can divide it. Winters will be cuff, summers will be pit, and rains will be uh, wat. And if like autumn and spring will be cusp, will be combination of two. Okay, we don't have a specific rainy season. So yeah, so so you remove that from there. Okay. And you have a combinations of things. One thing that I see is when the tree leaves, when they are tur- when they are turning brown. Yeah. Um, yeah. I get the message that. Uh, That that vat is about to kick increase, in, and it is yeah. So yeah. it is the uh, time to have more uh, vat pacifying or start adding that as the 
temperatures start to go down yes that's and, right and uh, especially in uk uh, in the around feb you would see that the trees have this green the trunk has turned completely green so i would understand that okay maybe uh, now it is time to add a little bit more of green vegetables and also uh green spices like uh, parsley and uh basil basil yeah basil oregano yeah. yeah oregano is good as yeah oregano is also very good it's it's got the same thing like ajwain yeah. it's very good so tell me something lot of children have adhd have ocd have depression is there something in ayurveda to help them yes there is there is once the diagnosis is done the panchkarma therapies like i did then shirodhara and all those we include that we do the nasal drops we give them medicines we do a lot of things so we there are some medicines which which are similar to allopathy i'm guessing yeah, yeah. because yeah. ashwagandha and all is like for basic stress and thoda sa like yeah. yeah. ashwagandha is like basic jaise hum log vitamin b kaise pee ah. khate hain ghar pe baithe baithe neurobian kha rahe Uh, but we have specific medicines see ayurveda also has specific medicines okay acha there okay. are proper combinations mixing tablets there are proper like cardiac tablets there are arjun vatti there are prabhakar vatti there is ashmodadi vatti there are so many medicines proper medicines is there is a pharmacology subject and there is a fact like this a, a pharmacy is there so there are medicines for every disease you talk about और अगर से इनको जैसे इन्होंने स्प्रिंग फीवर लिखा है बट कॉफी स्टूडेंट्स को कॉफ कोल्ड फीवर होता है बेसिक जो होता है एनीथिंग दे कैन टेक फॉर दैट सी इफ 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 देयर इज जस्ट जनरली आई कैन से टेक हनी विद तुलसी बेसिल लीव्स ना तुलसी जूस यू कैन टेक इट और अनियन जूस के साथ में ले सकते हो या जिंजर जूस के साथ में ले सकते हो दिस इज जनरल बट देन रेस्ट वी हैव टू चेक राइट राइट यू कैन जस्ट टेक फॉर एनी लाइक पैनाडोल खाना है तो आई मीन पैनाडोल या प्रोसिन जो भी इंडिया में खाते हैं वो खा सकते हैं बट जनरली आई थिंक एनीथिंग मोर देन मैम व्हाट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस वी कैन आस्क इट्स ऑल रिलेटेड टू आयुर्वेदा बट वंस डॉक्टर शिल्पा लीव्स यू कैन आस्क मी द रेस्ट काउंसलिंग वाले क्वेश्चंस एज यूजुअल आई विल टेक अ क्यू एन ए फॉर अ शॉर्ट वाइल बिकॉज टुमारो अगेन इंग्लिश क्लासेस है और बाय द वे जिनको नहीं पता कल हम प्रेजेंटेशन कैसे करते हैं वो सिखाने वाले हैं तो डू ज्वाइन एनी वे एनीथिंग एल्स शिल्पा बिफोर यू लीव Uh, anything else you want to tell the students that they should include in their diet like you were talking about the gut health many ye suna hai fermented foods bhi ek time pe pickle khana is was not good but aaj bolte hai pickle khana chahiye jo hum indians kaafi time se khate hain but only unhealthy pickles zyada khate hain healthy nahi khate yeah so, so pickles pickles are good but not those spicy pickles not jo hamara achar hai wo nahi hai pickles are like fermented pickles are good so right. basically uh, jaise if you know what is kanji vada uh uh-huh. you know what is kanji vada no no uh, kanji is made like fermentation uh, mustard seeds ko mix uh-huh. karke uh-huh. hum log uh, sindhi log gajar kaat ke uh, gajar gajar kar ke pani dal ke dhoop mein rakhte hain and yeah, then yeah. Uh, so that's so the that, healthy version that is the healthy version that is probiotic it's got lot of probiotics inside it so that is fermentation जैसे okay. आप इडली डोसा अगर खा रहे हो right. इडली डोसा खा रहे हो इट शुड बी फ्रेश इट शुड नॉट बी बैटर बना दे और उसको दो वीक तक खाए जा रहे नो इट शुड बी दैट इज नॉट फर्मेंटेड फूड इज गुड लाइक ब्रेड ब्रेड इज ओके यू कैन हैव ब्रेड होल वीट ब्रेड नॉट द व्हाइट ब्रेड बट ईट द फ्रेश ब्रेड वन टू डेज यू कैन नॉट एक ब्रेड ला दिया उसको फिर पूरा वीक खा रहे हैं दैट इज वेयर द प्रॉब्लम कम्स अपरस्टैंड वॉट डू यू मीन बाई गेनिंग वेट you want to gain weight or you want to lose weight uh, i can you can if you want text here uh, if not explain what you want to uh, any resources by shilpa ma'am ya shilpa ma'am will tell you how to get to i she will give me a link and i will give you all how to find out which dosh you people are and metabolism why do some people eat a lot but it still don't seem to put on but on the other hand some people eat too little but still are overweight so arsh are you overweight or are you underweight Shilpa, would you like to give some tips? Yeah, so see, when I said that you know body type, if mm. somebody has got a high pit, then they can eat as much as and they will never gain. Mm. But if their body type is cuff, 
even if they don't eat they will always be a little bit on the heavier side okay so and to balance this what how, how does one balance that off then yeah then you the take the, like we I, i design the teas to be taken so that we can pacify those doshas we can bring those doshas down like if there's a kapha prak- if somebody has got kapha prakriti that's what we say body type then we will introduce more exercise more activity so that the vat can go up and the kapha can go down aur isne likha hai ki his underweight trust me jab hum bhi aap logon ki umar mein the na hum itne underweight the ab humko poocho ek 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 gram lose karne ko kitni mehnat lagti hai to just enjoy yourself yaar when you are like fit as long as you are fit it doesn't matter if you are thin or whatever you should be are krisha i have tried intermittent fasting i am very menopausal please understand no matter what the fuck you do at this age, this age it's like hum log hai na shilpa it is so tough hamara metabolism pura thak kar ke gir jata hai but you know if harsh wants to gain weight a little bit we can just give him a healthy way he can have chaman prash one spoon every day and ashwagandha oh okay ashwagandha helps with that also yeah ashwagandha helps it's it's see ashwagandha helps if there is a requirement okay. it's not going to gain make you gain weight okay it is going to if if there is a imbalance in your body part in the body doshas and that's why you're not gaining weight to wo usko balance ko theek karega then that will be imbalance ko theek kar dega so you can gain weight then okay wo patanjali ayurveda banata hai ki naturopathy karta hai what is patanjali for yeah patanjali makes ayurveda so which one is better himalaya or patanjali what should we take because we are confused as hell it's really sorry products see i'm not supposed to like this talk about brands <laughs> yeah but yeah. i would prefer himalaya himalaya is been ages se chala aa raha hai india mein okay okay thank you so much shilpa really appreciated i know we said one and a half or thoda usse zyada chala gaya yeah, so, thank, thank you, you so very much friday thing and thanks i i hope everybody enjoyed it and feel free sure. i've put my email id and uh, insta also if anybody wants to ask any question yeah i will add it to the video not here uh, to the youtube because yeah, and i will send you the link i will send you the link for the body type yeah exam. thank you so much really Take appreciate care. bye it. good night everybody it's because it's night here wherever you are have a good day thank you so much shilpa thank you bye 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 हेलो बच्चा लोग हाँ तो रोहन साहब आपने कहा आपका नाम लेने के लिए आई डोंट नो योर आई थिंक यू आंट यू द वन हु रोड टू मी दैट योर न्यू सब्सक्राइबर लेट मी सी दैट वाज माय रोहन हाँ सो आई थिंक मे बी योर द सेम मैन आई डोंट एनीवे हाय रोहन हाउ आर यू वेलकम टू सेलिब्रेट विद रचना आई होप दैट आई डोंट नो वॉट नेम यू वॉन्ट मी टू टेक इफ दैट इज योर रियल नेम हाई कैसे तुम लोग सब काफी टाइम से तुम लोगों को मैंने दर्शन नहीं दिए कृषक तुम्हारा हैंड रेज है वुड यू लाइक टू से समथिंग मैम आई एंजॉयड द सेशन जस्ट वन सेकंड नो आई एम ओम रोड मैम देयर आर वेरी फ्यू चैनल्स ऑन YouTube व्हिच गिव अस दिस काइंड ऑफ पॉजिटिव कंटेंट एंड टॉक अबाउट ऑल दीस सेंसिटिव इश्यूज वंस अगेन थैंक्स अ लॉट थैंक यू ओम थैंक यू फॉर अप्रिशिएटिंग हां मैं बहुत ज्यादा काम करती हूं प्लीज अप्रिशिएट करो शेयर करो पता है मैं आज भी देख रही थी इनसाइट्स मेरे इस टॉपिक पे वी शुड हैव हैड लॉट्स मोर ऑफ पीपल अटेंडिंग बट तुम लोग ना इतने कोई भी मीम पोस्ट करने में कुछ भी कचरा फॉरवर्ड करने में तुम लोग को दो सेकंड नहीं लगता बट जो इम्पोर्टेंट तुम तुम्हारे दोस्त तुम्हारे फैमिली को इन चीजों से मदद हो सकती है तुम लोग वो फॉरवर्ड नहीं करते तुम लोग का क्या किया जाए बट ठीक है चलो हाँ बोलिए कृष्ण आप कुछ कहना चाहते हो हाँ मैम नहीं जो आप कह रहे हो ना दैट शेयरिंग मीम्स एंड ऑल व्हेन यू रीच माय एज यू फील लाइक यार उस एज में कितना एनर्जी था कितनी सारी चीजें कर सकते थे आई फील दैट नाउ इवन दो मैं अभी भी यंग हूँ बट मेरे उम्र का क्या बोलोगे तुम फिर एट फिफ्टी व्हाट डू यू से ऑल द बेस्ट ऑल यूर it's all no 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 it's all in the mind and uh, yeah krishna uh, age someone i am in my mid 20s mid 20s mai dekho kaise ka ladki okay jo bolte na girls generally apna share nahi karte main share bhi karti hu main batati hu in log mid 20s ha but apne exact thodi pata hai exact thodi hai apne so uh, so uh yeah that is one thing that in the teens and in the early 20s uh 
you have high energies and you have a more optimistic way of looking at life compared to the later who told you that you're all mistaken from my you from talk my about personal experience it's a subjective experience you see yeah yeah this is because subjective. i have so many clients bachas 15 16 17 18 itne pessimistic itne negative aur kuch जैसे एज होते हैं तुम्हारा ब्रेन ज्यादा मेच्योर होता है तुम ज्यादा अच्छा सोचते हो तो तुम पता नहीं व्हाट यू आर सेइंग बट यस मे बी पर व्हेन यू आर 15 16 तुम्हारे टाइम पे बिकॉज नाउ यू लाइक द द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेस इज वे देर यू डिंट हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेस ग्रोइंग अप बिकॉज तभी तुमको कमाना नहीं था तुमको फाइनेंस स्ट्रेस नहीं था राइट right? तो वो बचपन तब वो पढ़ाई का स्ट्रेस चल रहा है लोगों के लाइफ में पेरेंट्स का स्ट्रेस चल रहा है रिलेशनशिप्स के स्ट्रेस चल तो लाइफ इज सच अ मिक्स बैग ऑफ थिंग्स ए कभी ऐसा फील होता है कभी वैसा फील होता है नॉट नेसेसरी व्हाट यू आर सेइंग इज ट्रू बिकॉज तो हमारे भी लाइफ में स्ट्रेस चल रहा है तो हम क्या बोलेंगे बट नाउ वेन आई लुक बैक ओके इट वॉज सच अ केयरफ्री टाइम लाइक बच्चे नहीं थे फाइनेंस उनका पढ़ाई लिखाई हम कुछ तो तुम फिर क्या बोलोगे फिर हमारा क्या होगा तुम इतना स्ट्रेस so, मैम यू डोंट लुक वेरी यू यू लुक यंग एंड यू साउंड यंग या तो इट्स ऑल इन द माइंड यू सी अपने आप को करना yes. पड़ता है नहीं तो तुम पागल हो जाओगे सारा टाइम ये ले ले सोच सोच के ओल्ड हो गए ऐसा हो गया ये हां तुम्हारी बॉडी वही ना एवरी बर्थडे जो आता है तुमको ऐसा लगता है यू आर नॉट रियली चेंज but you have somewhere become perhaps a little bit more mature you think better you become more fierce you become more stronger more wiser you handle things much better but your body is declining it is kyunki energy jo and unfortunately jo maine karna chahiye tha maine kiya nahi kabhi ab mujhe kickboxing sikhne ka maza aa raha hai I wish जब मेरे पास एक्चुअली एनर्जी थी और जब मैं मार सकती थी कभी कभी तो मेरे हाथ ही नहीं उठते मैं उसको बोलती मैं ठीक से सोई आज मुझे थोड़ा समझ में आया एक्चुअली क्योंकि मैं बहुत लेट सोती हूँ और मैं लेट उठती भी हूँ तो आज मुझे समझ में आया कि मैं देर आर टाइम्स वेन आई एम डूइंग किक बॉक्सिंग एंड आई है लाइक नो स्टेमिना सो इट कुड बी दैट लाइक शी सेड राइट आफ्टर अ सर्टन टाइम यूर स्लीपिंग बट यू आर नॉट फीलिंग एनर्जेटिक बिकॉज टू योर स्लीप पैटर्न इज ऑल जैक सो I think I need to just be a little. Uh, so, ma'am, how, how did you find uh, today's session? आपको I love it. Yeah. I, I see. I with. मेरा अच्छा बात ये है कि uh, I never pretend कि मुझे ज़्यादा आता है. ठीक है. चाहे वो कोई टॉपिक हो जो मैं पहले भी सुन चुकी हूँ. चाहे वो टॉपिक हो जो मैंने कभी सुना भी नहीं. मैं हर चीज़ में मैं कुछ ध्यान एक्स्ट्रा ध्यान देती हूँ कि इससे मैं क्या सीख सकती हूँ. अब स्ट्रेस के बारे में मुझे पता था राइट दैट्स पार्ट ऑफ माय जॉब हाउ स्ट्रेस हाउ यू गेट स्ट्रेस्ड एंड ऑल ऑफ इट बट सर्टेन थिंग्स इवन आई थॉट कि इट वाज अ नाइस ब्रश अप आल्सो फॉर मी बिकॉज तुम काउंसलिंग करते करते बेसिक्स भी कभी कभी भूल जाते इतने साल से पढ़ के हो गया है सो आई टू लुक एट एवरी पर्सन आई इवन लाइक वेन आई टॉक टू यू आई डोंट एज्यूम दैट आई नो एवरीथिंग आई लाइक टू हियर वॉट यू ऑल्सो हैव टू से दैट इट मेक्स मी थिंक because when you think you're the hmm. smartest person in the room you are the what the dumbest person in the room because you can never know everything you should yes. always be a learner always apne aap ko grounded rakho humble rakho itna jitna udoge a very famous hmm. guru says that uh, that uh, india was uh, predominantly a land of seekers not believers so hmm. that has a uh, pata nahi india let, let's not even go india as a as a full country let's not generalize because aajkal jo india mein ho raha hai na seeker dur dur tak koi knowledge seek nahi ho raha hai sab apna sirf gyan phelne mein lage hain theek hai sabko lagta hai unko unse zyada pata hai dusre wale se wo log better hai chahe wo religion ho chahe wo politics ho चाहे वो खाना हो चाहे वो ड्रेस सेंस हो हर चीज में सब लोगों को सॉरी हर चीज में सबको ये दिखाना है कि उनको सब पता है बाकी हम सब गधे हैं तो यही दिस इज द रीजन व्हाई दिस दिस कुड बी वन ऑफ द कंट्रीब्यूटिंग फैक्टर्स टू यू नो थिंग्स लाइक एंजाइटी एंड 
डिप्रेशन गुड भी क्योंकि इफ यू सेट वेरी वेरी हाई बार यू हैव टू नीड दैट एंड इफ यू डोंट नीड दैट तो वो इट काइंड ऑफ ईट यू वॉट आर योर थॉट्स ऑन इट when we have high expectations from ourselves yes or and society? when we uh, yes not necessarily from uh, not necessarily from other people but from ourselves kyunki we have projected uh, the personal identity to such a level that now we have to live up to that to uska bhi ek alag se stress aata hai na dekho जमाने से ऐसा ही हुआ है कि हम अपने आप को बहुत ईगो तो सबके पास कहीं ना कहीं आ ही जाता है और सब लोग अपने आप को और मुझे नहीं लगता पहले इतना होता था जितना अब होता है जहां सब लोग बहुत ज्यादा एक तो अनरियलिस्टिक एक्सपेक्टेशंस बहुत हो गई है बिकॉज ऑफ सोशल मीडिया राइट हर इंसान दूसरे इंसान को देख के उसका सक्सेस उसके जैसा लुक्स उसके जैसा उनको सब चाहिए होता है राइट इसलिए तुम देखोगे की हाँ बॉडी तो ठीक है यार बॉडी तो फिर भी एक्सटीरियर जो भी तुम्हारा होता है बट आई यू नो आई वाज जस्ट हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पीपल एंड हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ सोच होता है वो एक क्या नाम है लड़की का जिसका अभी रिसेंटली कोई ब्रेकअप हुआ एक महीना पहले सम सम यूट्यूबर इंस्टाग्रामर अवंती अवंती समथिंग आई थिंक आई आई रिसेंटली सो हर पोस्ट एंड शी वॉज it was very fascinating to see how i forgot what her name is kisi ko pata hai to batao yaar main mujhe google karna padega uska naam to i was just seeing ki she was posting about her breakup with this firang boyfriend i think she lives abroad or whatever i have never followed her so it was my first time and i was supposed to do a podcast with her once upon a time when i had somebody who knew her and we never got down to it i never wrote to her or nothing like that uh naam mat lena क्यों नहीं लेना क्या फर्क पड़ता है ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता यार सबके बारे में बात करो मैं किसी के बारे में बुरा नहीं बोल रही मैं ये बता रही हूँ तुमको कि सोसाइटी हैज बिकम सो बिटर ओके देर वे टू टाइप्स ऑफ पीपल हु आर राइटिंग इन हर इन हर पोस्ट एंड आई वाज सो मोर देन व्हाट शी वाज सेइंग आई वॉज लुकिंग एट द पीपल देर वे लाइक देर वे थ्री स्कूल ऑफ थॉट वन इज लाइक मी Neither either, neither उधर चुपचाप अपना काम कर रहे हो गॉड ब्लेस यू अपना ध्यान रखो एक थे प्रो हर एक थे वर एंटी हर वेर आई नो यथ इन वन सेकेंड आई एन यू सो सो क्या था कि पीपल वर लाइक गोइंग लिटरली एट हर की तुम पैसा कमा रहे हो तुम अपने ग्रीफ को दिखा रहे हो तो इट्स इट्स रियली अमेजिंग एंड लाइक रियली वेरी वेरी क्रिटिकल कमेंट्स I understand where where some people were were in a way they were right ki, achha, tum apna duk bata rahe ho. But dekho, jab tumko sara time koi gaadi kharid ke dikha sakta hai, hai, wali baat hai, ek gaadi kharid raha hai koi, ya koi apna awards dikha raha hai, tumko apne life ke achhe moments dikha raha है तो तब तुम लोग को जेलेसी होती है ठीक है कि अरे उसके पास इतना है इसने बुक रिलीज किया अरे इसने ये थार खरीदी है जो भी बी एमडब्ल्यू कुछ भी तो तुम लोग को वो लगता है करके हमारे पास होना चाहिए पर अगर से कोई अपना दुख बता रहा है विच इज वेरी रेयर ऑन सोशल मीडिया कि मे बी राजवीर वॉज वन ऑफ देम हु शोड देन उसके पर केस हुआ था बट वेरी फ्यू सोशल मीडिया पीपल एक्चुअली शो लाइक दे आर प्रॉपर प्रोसेस की ब्रेकअप हुआ क्या हुआ फलाना धमका वॉट एवर हुआ तो देन बट अगर से ये करो तो प्रॉब्लम ये करो तो प्रॉब्लम लाइक आई हैव जस्ट रियलाइज दट You can never make anybody happy. सबकी अपनी अपनी लेवल ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशन इवन फ्रॉम अर यूट्यूबर इवन फ्रॉम एन इंस्टाग्रामर अपने आप से तो तुम लोग को है ही बट सोचने वाली बात है कि तुम दूसरों से कितनी एक्सपेक्टेशन तो मुझे नाम वाम लेने से कृषक में किसी के बारे में कभी बुरा वैसे ही नहीं बोलती मुझे लगता है कि हर इंसान के पीछे एक स्टोरी छुपी होती है वो इंसान ऐसा चलो लेट सज्यूम की वो पैसा भी बना रही है उसकी यूट्यूब चैनल है तुम्हारी मर्जी उसको नहीं देखना मत देखो राइट maybe that's her only perhaps her only i don't know whether it is her only way of getting money or whatever maybe that's her way of working but there's nothing wrong discussing your problem 
फिर क्या हुआ कि उसने वो छोड़ दिया पांच मैंने मैं पढ़ रही थी कमेंट में वो बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग आई फाइंड दिस ह्यूमन साइकोलॉजी फिनोमिना वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कि लोग एक दूसरे के पीछे यू you नो know, लगे हुए जो उसके फैंस है वो बोल रहे तेरा क्या जा रहा है हम और फिर कुछ लोग लिख रहे हैं कि थैंक यू फॉर शेयरिंग यू हैव मेड अस थिंक मोर यू हैव गिवन अस स्ट्रेंथ सो शी इज गिविंग सम पीपल स्ट्रेंथ शी इज मेकिंग सम पीपल वेरी अनकंफर्टेबल सो व्हाट डज वन डू सो आई थॉट टू माय सेल्फ लेट हर डू व्हाट शी थिंक्स शी वांट्स टू डू दैट एंड इट्स योर चॉइस इफ यू डोंट वांट टू फॉलो हर यू डोंट वांट टू वॉच हर इट्स कंप्लीटली ओके वी आर नॉट सेइंग दैट यू गॉट टू लाइक लिसन टू व्हाट शी हैज टू से तो आज उसका पोस्ट था something on how she had sex the first time now again jab india mein ye topic pe baat nahi hoti to sab log bolte hain hum india kitne backward hai goro ko dekho kaise comfortably apne bachcho se baat karte hain kaise you know sab kuch share karte hain jaisa koi uncomfortable wala topic aata hai log us pe chad jate hain acha abhi tune breakup ka topic chhod diya ab tu uh, sex pe par tere boyfriend ke sath to tera breakup ho gaya I'm like, oh my God, like, कितना वेलागिरी का टाइम है लोगों के पास कि तुम अपनी जिंदगी के चीजें छोड़ के दूसरों पे अरे जस्ट लर्न टू आई डोंट आई सी हंड्रेड ऑफ सोशल मीडिया पोस्ट आई लाइक ठीक है चलो यार आगे बढ़ो क्या तो किसी को अपनी ब्लेसिंग दो नहीं देखना देना ब्लेसिंग कितना प्रॉब्लम चल रहा है दुनिया में खुद के मेरे तेरे क्लाइंट्स के प्रॉब्लम है मेरे पास कहाँ है और मैंने भी लिखा उसको ठीक है अवंती को बिकॉज मुझे लगा कि आई डील विद क्लाइंट्स वो गोइंग थ्रू ब्रेकअप उसका उसको रोते हुए मुझे बहुत तकलीफ हुई तो मैंने लिखा करके गॉड ब्लेस यू एंड आई एंड मैं जितना लाइफ को मैंने देखा है वो टाइम पे हमको लगता है नेवर ओवर कमेंट बट जैसे जैसे हम बड़े होते हैं जैसे जैसे हमारे साथ प्रॉब्लम होते हैं वी ऑलवेज लर्न टू बिकम बेटर एंड वी डू ओवर कमेंट ओनली वी फगेट कि हम याद है पहले ऐसा वी हैव मैनेज टू ओवरकम Uh, hurdles and obstacles in our life, which we kind of forget. And then I wrote to her, "Can you imagine what people attacked me also? Are you chup kar Mother Teresa? You know. So uh, I'm like, okay. I had an option again. I had to think. Is answer do? Ki kya karo? I said, chhod yar. Kis ke pas vakte? So what I did was block. Tak. Or jis jis ne us ladke ke comment ko like kya? Maine block kar diya. Maine bolli, I don't want. You cannot stop people from. Unnecessary, but there was one of my uh, subscribers, followers, who who stood up to me that, hey, uh, you know, I'm side but you know, मैं अवंती का साइड नहीं ले रहा हूँ बट रचना मैम के बारे में कुछ मत बोलो तो मुझे इतना स्वीट लगा इट वॉज सो टचिंग की समबड़ी स्टूड अप फॉर मी बट आई डोंट सी दिस है लॉट ऑन सोशल मीडिया आई थिंक ऑल रेडी टू पुल इच अदर डाउन सपोर्ट बहुत कम है और बिटरनेस बहुत ज्यादा है तो फिश to your question forget your fucking own expectations okay wo to tum log ke high hai hi tumhari expectation duniya se kitni hai pehle usko tone down karo tum kyu dusro ko gyan pehlne badh jate ho ki tune ye kyu pehna tune wo kyu kaha tune ye video kyu post ki i mean i can understand agar se koi kachra post kar raha hai itna kachra hai pata hai there are that day i saw some some video i was looking at i forgot which one it was and वहां पे एक डॉक्टर ने लिखा था एक सोशल मीडिया इन्फ्लुएंसर को या एक फैशन ब्लॉगर को बहुत दिस दिस सो कॉल्ड मीडिया हैड प्रमोटेड सो देन देर वाज दिस डॉक्टर हु रोड शी सेड आई एम ए डॉक्टर आई हेल्प पीपल फॉर फ्री आई हेल्प द पुअर बट हमको कभी ये उसका बीएमडब्ल्यू देख रही थी क्योंकि वो फैशन ब्लॉगर के पास बी एम डब्ल्यू बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल हर ब्यूटी आर्स गलती किसकी है हम सबकी जो ये कचरा देखते हैं मैंने फिर वो लड़की को लिखा आई सेट यू नो वॉट वी कैन डू विदाउट दिस फैशन ब्लॉगर वी कैन नॉट डू विदाउट डॉक्टर्स वी नीड पीपल लाइक यू टू हेल्प पुअर पीपल हु डोंट हैव मनी हु आर सिक क्योंकि मेडिकल इज सो एक्सपेंसिव इन मोस्ट प्लेसेस सो दैट्स वॉट आई फेल्ट कि हमारी भी गलती होती है जब ये जो लोग uh, इतने फेमस हो जाते हैं और हम चाहे वो सेलिब्रिटीज हो या फैशन ब्लॉगर्स हो दीज आर आई एम नॉट सेंग दैट वी डोंट नीड एंटरटेनमेंट बट इट्स वी आर ऑल्सो टू बी ब्लेम फॉर इट एंड then i of course as soon as i wrote to that to the doctor thankfully lot of people were writing the same thing and told these this this whichever i forgot which page it was ki what shit are you posting why are you not glorifying or celebrating people who are really making a difference so i hope that in time we'll see that and we'll see good pages good people being promoted and so that you people will also learn 
अब तुम लोग की एक्सपेक्टेशन इसलिए भी ज्यादा है क्योंकि तुम लोग देख भी तो क्या रहे हो किसी के पास बी एमडब्ल्यू आगे फैशन ब्लॉगर बन के तो ठीक है उसके उसका करियर है वॉट एवर है कि वो कपड़े पहन के मॉडलिंग कर रही है और उसको पैसे उस चीज के लिए मिल रहे हैं पर कितने लोग हार्डवर्क करते हैं टीचर्स नर्सेस आर्मी में इट्स सो अनफॉर्चुनेट दैट पीपल डोंट मेक इनफ मनी एंड देन आई सो अनदर इन दैट सेम पेज और इट वॉज सम अदर वन सम वन रोड की मुझे फॉलो करो मैं तुमको जल्दी से डीएम पे रिप्लाई करूंगी और मेरे स्टोरीज को जरूर देखना अब मुझे भी मस्ती कम नहीं है मैंने भी जाके देखा क्योंकि मुझे देखना था ये लिखा क्या है ऐसा बेगिंग क्यों हो रहा है लाइक्स के लिए और फॉलोअर्स के लिए देखा तो इट वाज लाइक ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ सेमी पॉन पेज ऑन इंस्टा सो आई कंप्लेन टू इंस्टा वाई बिकॉज आजकल बारह साल प्लस से भी नीचे बच्चे इंस्टाग्राम लेने लगे देर इज नो वे टू टू वेरीफाई राइट एंड दीज आर योर ब्रदर्स योर चिल्ड्रन who are getting how many cases i get people with porn addiction why because of all this shit which is like out in the open constantly if you're and abhi jab hum log baat kar rahe the social media ki even on this reduce your content aur acha content dekho ek bar aap ek addiction mein phas jate ho especially porn addiction and all of it it's 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 really going to be i can't tell you how stressed out the ones who come to me are ki कितनी सारी कोशिशें करने के बावजूद उनका पॉन एडिक्शन ठीक नहीं हो रहा अभी मैं रिसोर्सेस दे सकती हूँ बट ऑफकोर्स यू हैव टू वर्क ऑन इट राइट सो या गौरव इंस्टा इज फिल्ड विथ शिट हंड्रेड टाइम्स मोर देन नॉलेज या इट्स वेरी सैड या सो और किसने हाँ अवंती नागराल करेक्ट गौरव दैट वॉज हाँ सो इज या सो दैट वॉज माई टेक ऑन सो आई एम जस्ट से खुद की भी एक्सपेक्टेशन हमें जी बोलिए कृष्ण one more question uh, and this is specifically that uh, is happening ki i am only consuming good content but kabhi kabhi aisa lagta hai ki ab zyada ho aur hai in the sense i am all the time uh, trying to learn even before going to bed i have to watch something good content and that is something so how do i uh, establish the boundaries between me and my habit of consuming the good content on personal development spirituality thought about motivation but mera pura din abhi kisi ne multiverse dekha jo aaya tha ye wala kya naam hai doctor strange ka okay abhi main parso dekh kar aayi hu to बेस्ट एग्जांपल क्रिश को दे सकती हूँ टू मच ऑफ अ गुड थिंग इज बैड ठीक है जब एक डॉक्टर स्ट्रेंज था सॉरी स्पॉइलर अलर्ट जिसको नहीं सुनना है कान बंद करो ठीक है एक तो ठीक था साला इतना सारा ब्लडी बकवास मेरा और मेरा फेवरेट कैरेक्टर हुआ करता था आफ्टर आयन मैन एंड आफ्टर कैप्टन अमेरिका एंड आफ्टर थॉर चलो ठीक है मेरा तो चलता रहता है मेरा चेंज होता रहता बट मैं तुम्हें वो समझा रही हूँ क्रिश की इट्स कॉल इन्फो ऑबेसिटी कुछ भी तुम ज्यादा लोगे तुम्हारा ब्रेन मोटा हो जाएगा ब्रेन वैसे ही फंक्शन नहीं करेगा सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड ईच वन लिमिट इज डिफरेंट राइट जब आपके आंखें थक जाती है आपके ब्रेन में ऑब्जॉर्ब नहीं हो रहा और कितना कंटेंट एक दिन पे इतना डिसाइड करो कि आज मैं कौन से पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक पे थोड़ा सा एक्स्ट्रा रिसर्च करूँ चाहे वो तुम्हारे टॉकिंग पे हो या तुम्हारे पॉस्चर पे हो तुम्हारे पॉजिटिव थिंकिंग पे हो पिक वन instead of picking 10000 things that's like too many tabs open in your mind and on your phone so don't do that and before sleeping it's always good to not read all this cup instead usse better comedy dekho kuch light ya kuch music sunke guided meditation karo that's how you end your day you do not end your day with hyper this thing it will play on your mind okay unless uh, students who are studying I always say कि पढ़ाई करो बिफोर स्लीपिंग जो भी तुम्हारा डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक्स है बिकॉज सोते वक्त ऑब्जॉर्व करता है पर वो सिर्फ एग्जाम्स के टाइम करना बाकी टाइम जितना आप एक सेकेंड जितना आप कम कर सकते हो अपना टाइम ऑन सोशल मीडिया दैट इज द बेस्ट थिंग ओके एंड यू हैव टू डिसाइड दर इज नो राइट एंड रॉन्ग बिकॉज फॉर यू फाइव आवर्स माइट बी लिटिल फॉर मी माई गॉड इफ इट वुड बी फाइव आवर्स मैं तो पागल हो जाऊँ इतना पढ़ पढ़ के So, तुमको खुद डिसाइड करना पड़ेगा हाय मेघा कैसी हो लॉन्ग टाइम नो सी 
मैं तुम्हें अनम्यूट का फैसिलिटी दे रही हूँ क्योंकि आई थिंक मैंने वो ले लिया है जतिन तुम्हें कुछ कहना था तुमने लिखा कि नहीं कि क्या हेलो हेलो यस मैम आई जस्ट वांट टू से समथिंग दैट व्हाइल वी आर ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ बीइंग द बीइंग थिंकिंग अबाउट दैट यू आर द एलिफेंट इन द रूम दैट यू नोज मोर देन अदर्स आई समटाइम्स हैड दैट काइंड ऑफ फीलिंग अ लॉट दैट व्हेन आई एम इन रूम नॉट काइंड ऑफ पीपल आर वाचिंग मी बट आई थिंक दैट I know better than that person. I know better than that person. How to hold your horses at that time? Really, sometimes it really cramps in your mind that you are better than them. You are better. So, you are thinking opposite. So, basically, you are saying that you are not better than them. You are better. No, no. I am saying that you are better. You are better. Okay. 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 is thinking ko so dekho humility aisi cheez hai ki sikhai nahi ja sakti practice kar sakte ho theek hai but wo khud ke when you close your eyes and when you every single day tell yourself that i am going to be a learner rather than a teacher okay i'm going to also learn something learn to be a good listener that's what abhi like when i have a client okay 45 minutes i give them to talk okay if you have seen rajveer wala interview shweta aapke sath 4 ghante mein itna der chup hi baith sakti aur main utne der bol bhi sakti yes, so yes. ek balance with age aata hai how old are you person who was i'm 21 now 21 to time lagega tumhare umar mein ye yeah, actually tumhare umar mein to hum aisa nahi sochte the ki humko bahut pata hai but theek uh, hai uh, main tumhe bata deti hu tumhe kuch bhi nahi pata kyunki yes, yes. uh, at 21 it is ऑलमोस्ट हाँ तुम लोग कंटेंट कंज्यूम करके उसको वॉमिट कर सकते हो ठीक है पर एक डीपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग बिकॉज़ आई हैव सम चिल्ड्रन रीडर्स राइट एनी टॉपिक दे गो टक 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 हम लाइक ओके बट इट डजेंट इम्प्रेस मी वॉट इम्प्रेसिस मी इज अ गुड लिस्नर वॉट इम्प्रेसिस मी वेन समन इज रिस्पेक्टिंग दी अदर पर्सन समबडी हु इज हम्बल समबडी हु इज मॉडर समबडी हु अंडरस्टैंड की ठीक है अगर से इस बंदे को नहीं भी पता मुझसे कम पता है इट डजेंट मीन दैट द पर्सन इज एनी लेस इफ यू वुड पुट श्वेता मैन मी इन द सेम रूम आई डोंट थिंक इट टेक्स अ जीनियस टू फिगर आउट हु नो मोर देन मी राइट ही वुड बट हैविंग सेट दैट इफ ही वुड थिंक दैट देन देन दैट इज नॉट ह्यूमिलिटी लेट्स अज्यूम लेट्स रिवर्स द रोल कि आई नो मोर देन हिम ऑन सर्टन थिंग्स वैसे तो सब टॉपिक्स पे हम किसी को नहीं आ सकता बट लेट्स अज्यूम कि लाइक बीस टॉपिक्स में से मुझे उन्नीस टॉपिक्स आते हैं बट वॉट डज दैट मेक मी दैट इफ आई से मुझे तो उससे ज्यादा आता है तो देन दैट मेक्स मी एन एरोगेंट एस एंड एरोगेंस इज नॉट अ समथिंग दैट यू शुड बी एवर प्राउड ऑफ आई डोंट थिंक एनी बडी लाइक्स अ पर्सन हु इज लाइक हम तो आपसे बहुत ज्यादा अच्छे हैं आपके सामने क्या तुम क्यों बात कर रहे हो यार जब हम बात कर रहे हो तुम सुनो ऐसी वाली जो एटीट्यूड होती है ना मैं दो सेकंड में उस इंसान को अपने लाइफ से निकालती हूँ बिकॉज मुझसे बर्दाश्त ही नहीं होता जब एक इंसान इमोडेस्ट हो या ह्यूमिलिटी ना हो दैट इज द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल आई थिंक पर्सनैलिटी ट्रेट समन कैन हैव वेयर दे आर ग्राउंडेड वेयर दे आर सेंग की ठीक है अगर से इस इंसान को इस टॉपिक पे लेट से तुम्हारी टॉपिक इज फाइनेंस एंड यू कुड बी लाइक अमेजिंग एट इट बट If you do not have humility, it doesn't matter what you have. It doesn't matter how much knowledge you owe. If you are not respecting the samne wala, आज जैसे शिल्पा को ही देख लो, हम में से किसी को आयुर्वेदा के बारे में hardly कुछ knowledge था. सिर्फ एक सुन सुना या like maybe Krish knew something and I knew basic stuff. But she never made us feel less than we are, right? She made never made us feel stupid. The day you make someone feel stupid for not knowing. something that they know okay if you think that ki i know everything you don't know then that's a very terrible thing and that takes to be mindful ki okay i need to be a good listener i need to respect that person maybe my um, appetite for content is more maybe i retain more but it doesn't mean that you are pigeonholed holding then iq right just because you know content jinko nahi pata shayad wo aapke jaise बात नहीं कर सकते पर अगर से रिटर्न टेस्ट हो जाए शायद वो आपको बीट करे शायद आप अगर से फाइनेंस में अच्छे हो तो वो शायद साइकोलॉजी में हो या कोई फिटनेस में बैठे हो 
बहुत कम ऐसा होता है कि हम सब सेम फील्ड्स में और कंपटीशन तो चलती रहती है बट फिर भी ऊपर नीचे तो चलता रहेगा दैट्स वाई इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि अंडरस्टैंड कि जब किसी से बात करते हो आप आप उनको सुनो उनको क्या आता है क्या नहीं आता है और नहीं आता है तो डोंट मेक देम फील लाइक एम्बेरस ऑफ वॉट दे डोंट नो यस यतिन टेल मी I've you. I've asked you to admit. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for clearing that. That was the same thing. I was. I'm not that kind of person. That who go out and do whatever. But at home, it happens. Like in a family discussion with your elder sister, it's kind of you know uh, that topic better than her, and you are like. I was more than that. I was just saying that you are less than her. I was just reacting there. Who different? Hai. देखो इसलिए मैं बोलती तुम लोग हमेशा आधा अधूरा बात मेरे को बोलते हो फिर बोलते हो करके मैं इतना ज्ञान फैलने के बाद मेरे को ये बताता इसके बहन ने यार ना तो तुमको समझना है कि जब हम लोग हमारे सिबलिंग से बात करते हैं थोड़ा हम लोगों का बचपन से उनके साथ जो इक्वेशन होता है दैट के नॉट है प्रोफेशनल सेटिंग और इवन ऑन पॉडकास्ट राइट शिल्पा को वो सपोज शिल्पा हैड अ फ्रेंड सॉरी सो सॉरी हैज अ ब्रदर ओके हु इज इन फाइनेंस एंड शी इज इन आयुर्वेदा ऑब्वियसली शी नोस मोर आयुर्वेदा देन ही डस राइट यस लॉजिकली सो देन ही विल नॉट अज्यूम आल्सो कि उसको शिल्पा से ज्यादा पता है अभी कुछ टॉपिक्स yes. ऐसे हो सकते हैं जहां पे जैसे मैं सोचती हूं पॉलिटिक्स uh, ओके okay? सब लोग को पता है बीजेपी का न्यूज़ आया है सबको पता है कांग्रेस uh, क्या कर रहा है आप क्या कर रहा है जो भी ब्लडी को है मेरे को फर्क नहीं पड़ता आई एम जस्ट से नव दिस नॉलेज इज देयर ऑन इन पेपर करेक्ट सो दिस वुड बी पर वेर यू बोथ विल आर्ग्यू क्योंकि दिस मैन विल से तुझे पता है मोदी जी ने क्या किया तू बोलेगा नहीं राजीव क्या नाम है राहुल ने ऐसा किया तो ये यहाँ पे तुम लोग दोनों अपना अपना नॉलेज झाड़ सकते हो बट अगेन मैं हमेशा बिलीव करती हूँ पॉलिटिक्स एंड रिलीजन This is a fucking waste of time to discuss. Yes. Because each one is already preset view mindset हो जाता है और वो argument just turns uglier and uglier. Because nobody wants to hear that the other person is wrong or knows more or knows less. ठीक है तो it's a waste of time. तो अब जब तुम अपनी बहन के साथ मुझे नहीं पता generally कौन सा topic बोलते हो but I hope मस्ती मजाक में हमारे तो बच्चे yes. like like हमारे दोनों बच्चों में भी होता है कि एक uh you know my son uh, is knows hell of a lot about like let's say um any superhero movie so when we went for this this uh, kya movie doctor mein, strange ha doctor strange theek hai to hum usko dekh rahe the kon hai ye kon aaya abhi screen pe ye log faltu mein kyu taaliyan baja rahe the hum mujhe illuminati aa rahi hai to bole acha ye he says mom you don't remember ye wala वो वाले 2018 में वो हमने ऐसा क्या क्या दिखाने लेकर आया था तुम्हें को यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग आई सर जस्ट शट अप आई अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग तो वो मजाक वाला मैटर है ठीक है कि बट आई नो ही नोज मोर देन मी सवाल ही पैदा नहीं होता कि मुझे कुछ पता है और फिर वो एंड क्रेडिट के लिए सुपर के माफे बैठे रहे सेकंड क्रेडिट के लिए ट्रस्ट मी डोंट वेट आल्सो फर्स्ट वाला अभी से तुम लोगों को सारा पता तो आई एम जस्ट सेइंग कि उसको पता होता है कितने क्रेडिट्स आने वाले एंड क्रेडिट्स में कितने देर वेट करना है ठीक है दो है तीन है जो भी है तो यू हैव टू जब आप अभी यंग हो आपकी बहन अगर से आपसे बड़ी है तो क्या होता है ना कभी एज वाला मैटर आ जाता है कि yes, I know more than you shut the fuck up <laughs> generally I saw that <laughs> so that's the thing but it's okay कि so it's okay ना हम सब कब चलता रहता है siblings का होता है हाँ बोलो क्रिश बोलो you want to say something किसको बात करनी है हेलो hmm? हाँ you want to say, your hand is raised and Zach तो तो ah, तो Uh, lower it, lower it. So, okay. next beam beam session session? when will it happen? English beam session. Uh, kal hum log on the beam ke I'm I'm because last week I missed on the beam, right? So I'm teaching. Yes. I mean, sorry, I'm not teaching. Uh, I have got someone to teach your presentation skills because lot of yes. you all I asked in the two weeks पहले जो on the beam हुआ था 
तो मैंने पूछा था किसी को सीखना है तो सब लोग ने बोला यस मैम यस मैम अभी देखते यस मैम यस मैम करके कितने आते हैं मेरे से मेहनत तो लड़ी बहुत कराते हो पर ना सब्सक्राइब करते हो ना कमेंट करते हो ना लाइक करते हो सब सब लोग ना आराम से बैठे रहते हो कि मैम मेरे लिए हमारे लिए एक मेड सर्वेंट आ गई है हमारा हम कुछ नहीं करेंगे हम बस एक्सपेक्ट करते जाएंगे हाँ मैम मंडे को बीम सेशन हाँ बीम ऑन द बीम नहीं होगा ये टाइम ये टाइम प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स पे होगा और फिर मैं आई थिंक नेक्स्ट वीक उसका करूंगी पर एवरीबडी अभी से मैं तुम लोग को हेड्स अप दे रही हूँ बाई मिड जुलाई आई एम मूविंग टू दुबई सो दे विल बी अ टाइम दैट द चैनल विल हैव वेरी बेयर मिनिमम एक्टिविटी एंड ऑल्सो इन पर मिड ऑगस्ट आई एम ट्रेवलिंग सो ऐसा नहीं करके सब समय करते करते कर चले जाओ मेरे चैनल को छोड़ के थप्पड़ लगाओगे तुमको हाँ मैम आप हमारी वंडर वुमन अरे वंडर वुमन तो लिखा करो ना कमेंट सेक्शन में आ, तो इधर नहीं जूम पे नहीं यूट्यूब पे ताकि लोग देखे लोग जब देखते हैं तो उनको पता होता है कि चैनल अच्छा है अच्छा हाँ वीगन वर्सन नॉन वीगन ओ लॉर्ड क्रिश यूर टेलिंग नहीं मैम नहीं 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 यूजलेस आर्ग्यूमेंट आई एम टेलिंग यू आई टेल यू हाउ ओके सो वी इज टू हैव अ वेजिटेरियन रेस्टोरेंट इन इन बाली राइट तो आ जाते अभी वेजिटेरियन तो ऑलरेडी है ठीक है वीगन लोग आ जाते थे तुम पनीर बेच रहे हो यू नो तुम मिल्क प्रोडक्ट तुम हमारी दही कड़ी भी बनती थी और मैं खाती नहीं वो बट शेफ तो बनाता था तो ये भी एक कॉन्वर्सेशन है यार डोंट फोर्स योर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑन फूड और अदर पीपल इट्स अवर एंडिंग टॉपिक कि किसने क्या खाना है जिसको जो खाना है नॉन वेज खाना है वेजिटेरियन खाना है चुप चाप खाओ और मरो You know, like stop fucking the world. फाल तू मैं हर बात पे लड़ी लड़ाई करने लग जाऊँ. Ma'am, you, ma'am, YouTube पे मैंने बहुत सारे channels देखे. सब लोग बहुत ही perfect हैं. But you are authentic. जो मन में आता है बोलते हैं. That is yeah, like wow. हम ऐसे हैं बाबा. आपुन तो ऐसे subscribe करना है करो नहीं करना है मत करो. ओके हाँ मेगा मेगा तो इतनी चाहे चहक क्यों नहीं रही आज चुपचाप इधर टेक्स का है कर रही है मैं देखो तो अनम्यूट का ये भी दिया आई वाज मिसिंग योर वॉइस मैम दिस डेज पीपल थिंक बीइंग रूड एंड मीन मीन मेक देम कूल विश मोर पीपल जॉइन यू एंड लिसन टू यू दे अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ यूमिटी थैंक यू बच्चा आज मुझे इतने स्वीट स्वीट में अपने बच्चों को दिखा रही थी मेरे को मदर्स डे पे कितने सारे जो मुझे फॉलो करते हैं सब्सक्राइब करते हैं कि एक तो मेरे टीम में से ही किसी ने मुझे लिखा कि यू नो एक्चुअली मैं पढ़ लेती हूँ बहुत स्वीट कमेंट था एक मिनट है एक तो मेरी कमेलिया तो हमेशा लिखती हूँ हाँ हैप्पी मदर्स डे मैम थैंक्स फॉर बीइंग अ मदर फिगर टू ऑल ऑफ अस यू टच द हार्ट्स इन सो मेनी वेज बी बी फॉर एवर ग्रेटफुल आई मीन सो स्वीट राइट तो मैं अपने बच्चों को दिखा देती हूँ बच्चे देखो पूरी दुनिया तुम्हारे माँ के बारे में क्या बोलती है और तुम लोग है कि मुझे अप्रिशिएट नहीं करते फिर मेरे बच्चों ने एक्चुअली ये फूल फूल और मुझे यू नो इतने सारे डोनर्ट्स अल्लाह और मैं आई एम लाइक अच्छा आई एम वन ऑफ दोज राइट मेरे सामने तुमने मिठाई रखी या कोई भी मीठा रखा तो मुझे वो पूरा जब तक खत्म नहीं होता तब तक मैं खाती हूँ ठीक है तो उन्होंने they bought cookies and this there's this place they know I love the cookies उनके चौक, 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 इतना बड़ा वाला होता है और डोनट्स एक्चुअली uh, वीडियो पता नहीं दिखाई देता तो दे एक वीडियो तो निकाली थी मेरी बेटी ने और फिर बाद में uh, मेरे सामने रखा ना यू कैन इमेजिन मैंने बिफोर शी टुक द फोटोग्राफ उन्नीस उसी से डोंट टच इट वो गई यू नो प्लेट प्लेट लेके आने को सजाने के लिए मैंने ऑलरेडी चार छह डोनट्स बेबी डोनट्स से ऐसे नहीं करके बड़े बड़े डोनट्स खाए दिखाई देता है क्या इधर से अगर से मैं वेरी कुछ दिखाई दे रहा है यस यस हां सो दीस आर द कुकीज एंड द द लेट मी प्ले इट अगेन सो दे डिड दिस होल थिंग विद द फ्लावर्स एंड द कुकीज एंड द डोनट्स बिकॉज़ आई वाज लाइक टेलिंग द मदर जे पे मैं ले वैसे तो हमेशा करते बट आज उनको लेट uh, उठे बच्चे कल हम लोग सब लेट सोए थे हां किसी ने कुछ लिखा है uh, Ma'am, I had a paper today, so feeling very tired. But thank you so much for acknowledging my presence. Means a lot. Okay, no matter. And who has written Happy Mother's Day? Thank you, Arish. Thank you so much. Ma'am, I don't understand this veganism and vegetarianism. I don't understand it. I'm explaining it to you. Okay, why do they even ask? I'll explain. So, now you have to say vegetarian, non-vegetarian. Actually, non-vegetarian is not a word. I think it's from Indians. So, vegetarian means grass, fruits, no non-veg. पर देन देर आर एगिटेरियन जो एग खाते हैं देर आर पेस्किटेरियन जो फिश खाते हैं और वेजिटेरियन फूड खाते हैं तो ऐसे अजीब अजीब किस्म के 
लोग वेजिटेरियन भी होते हैं राइट जो कुछ लोग इतने स्ट्रिक्ट वेजिटेरियन होते हैं केक नहीं खाते एग्स नहीं खाते पर कुछ वेजिटेरियन खा लेते कुछ वेजिटेरियन पिकेटेरियन होते मतलब अगर से चिकन करी है और आलू है तो आलू निकाल के खा लेंगे इतने स्ट्रिक्ट नहीं होते स्पेशली जो जब ट्रेवल करते हो यू हैव टू बी लिटल इजी यू कैन नॉट लाइक यू नो बी सो स्ट्रिक्ट कि हम ये नहीं खाएंगे वो नहीं खाएंगे क्योंकि इट्स तुमको पता है जब हम लोग इंडोनेशिया जकार्ता आए थे अभी तो भी वेजिटेरियन खाना मिलता है वो टाइम पे मैं तो कभी वेजिटेरियन लाइफ में नहीं थी बट एम जस्ट सिंग जो मेरे वेजिटेरियन फ्रेंड्स होते हैं तो वो लोग उनके लिए बिकेम सो डिफिकल्ट सर्वाइवल बिकॉज हम जब बाहर जाते थे दो ही चीज खाने को मिलती थी एक था मी गोरेंग एक था नासी गोरेंग वो क्या होता है फ्राइड राइस और फ्राइड नूडल्स फ्राइड नूडल्स मतलब सॉर्टेड नूडल्स नॉट डज मीन डीप फ्राइड नूडल्स तो इनका वो नेशनल डिश है ऑफ सॉर्ट्स है तो बेचारे लोग चार दिन के ट्रिप में नासी गोरेंग मी गोरेंग नासी गोरेंग मी गोरेंग फ्रेंच राइस यही तीन खाते थे अब थिंग्स आर चेंज नाउ वॉट इज वीगन वीगन बिलीव करते हैं कि जब कोई काव को तुम हार्मोन इंजेक्ट करते हो या उनको तो वैसे एनिमल्स को नहीं मारते राइट वो लोग तो नॉनवेज तो वैसे ही नहीं खाते पर दूध भी नहीं पीते पनीर नहीं खाते योगर्ट नहीं खाते क्योंकि वो बोलते उसमें भी बैक्टीरिया कल्चर है रियल लाइफ थिंग है तो तुम जब काव को इंजेक्ट करते हो तो वो इज नॉट गुड विथ हॉर्मोन्स तुम दे डोंट इवन हैव हनी बिकॉज वो बोलते दैट इज अनएथिकल जिस तरह हनी को ये करते हैं बीज के साथ Apparently that is traumatic to the bees. उन लोग जो स्ट्रिक्ट स्ट्रिक्ट वीगन होते हैं वो लोग ना लेदर बैग पहनते हैं ना वॉलेट ना बेल्ट दे आर सो स्ट्रिक्ट एंड सम आर सो स्ट्रिक्ट कि किसी रेस्टोरेंट में जब जाएंगे वो बोलेंगे बर्तन धो एंड आई हैड पीपल लाइक दिस बर्तन धो के फिर हमारा खाना बनाया जाए वो थोड़ा ज्यादा हो गया क्योंकि जब मैं रेस्टोरेंट बिजनेस में आई हूँ ट्रस्ट मी वी डोंट हैव फकिंग टाइम फॉर योर दिस नाटक कि हम तुम लोग दो लोगों के लिए पूरे चार बर्तन धोके यू नो इतना क्लीन एंड ऐसा थोड़ी होता है यार किचन में इतना मेस रहता है सबके लिए इतना हाँ अगर से वेजिटेरियन नॉन वेजिटेरियन अलग बात है पर वो लोग तो घी भी नहीं खाते योगर्ट भी नहीं खाते कि बिल्कुल नहीं लाइक जीरो तो दैट इज लाइक एक्सट्रीम फॉर्म ऑफ जो ये जो वीगन होते हैं और उसको फॉलो करने के लिए और थिंग ये है कि कुछ लोग बोलते हैं हेल्दी नहीं है आजकल मैं रिसर्च भी पढ़ रही थी इट इज नॉट सो हेल्दी और वो बहुत ज्यादा सोया भी खाते एक टाइम पे बोल रहे थे कि इट इज कार्सोजेनिक टू हैव सो मच सोया बट नाउ इट इज रिसर्च की फॉकिंग चेंजिंग इट इज सो डिफिकल्ट कि क्या चल रहा है क्या नहीं चल रहा है क्या खाना है क्या नहीं खाना तो इसलिए चुपचाप एवरी इन मॉडरेशन एंजॉय करो अपनी जिंदगी एक लाइफ है जो अच्छा लगता है खाओ अपना हेल्थ का ख्याल रखो और ज्यादा स्ट्रेस मत लो आई होप यूट्यूब पर मुझे कोई कोई आज तो यूट्यूब वाले बस ताक रहे हैं कोई क्वेश्चन ही नहीं लिख रहा हमको आ जाओ जूम पे हम लोग इधर बातें कर रहे हैं आ जाइए जो भी हमको देख रहे हैं वहां से पता नहीं चुप हाँ बोले वेन आर यू गोइंग टू शेयर दिस वीडियो विद रिसोर्सेज And the second question is मेरा stammering वाले video का क्या हुआ हाँ तुम्हारे stammering वाले video का ये हुआ है की जब से मैं उसको download कर रही हूँ हमारे से download हो ही नहीं रहा है I don't know why I'll show it to you even now देखो मेरे पास है मैंने इसको कितने बार मैंने कभी वाई फाई से कभी थ्री जी से लैपटॉप पे इसको डाउनलोड करो हो जाएगा लैपटॉप पे नहीं मोबाइल पे नहीं मैम क्योंकि मैं फोन से सारा अपलोड मेरे फोन से ही होता है और या तो मेरा टीम से होता है तुमको मैंने बोला था मुझे ओपन फाइल दो तो मैं अपने आई सेंट इट मैंने और मैंने आपको ओपन है और मैंने मैंने आपको एक्सेस भी दिया था सो दैट इज ओपन देन आई विल सेंड इट देन आई विल सेंड इट टू रिव्यू एंड ही विल डू इट या बिकॉज़ ही जनरली हैज मोर स्पेस आई डोंट हैव सो मच स्पेस ऑन माय द लास्ट वन राइट यू सेंट इट टू मी यस नो वन इज 2021 नो 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 नहीं 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 अभी रिसेंटली आपको अच्छा रिसेंडेड टू मी एंड कीप इट ओपन आई गिव इट टू यू या शॉर्ट शॉर्ट ओके हां क्या किसने कहा एंड व्हेन आर यू गोइंग टू शेयर दिस वीडियो विद ऑलरेडी ऑलरेडी पोस्टेड अच्छा इट्स ऑलरेडी देयर इट्स ऑलरेडी गोस दैट्स हाउ इट वर्क्स इफ यू गो फ्रॉम Zoom टू YouTube इट डायरेक्टली गोस इनटू द थिंग क्या लिखा है किसने मैम डू वी ऑलवेज गो लाइव एवरी टाइम वी आर ऑन Zoom यस वी डू या दैट बट बैड 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 Uh, none of you all are spotlighted except for the guest and me so you don't have to watch 
जिनको अगर से तुम लोगों को दिखने का शौक है अगर से तुमको अपना नेम नहीं बताना तो वो तुम चेंज कर सकते हो अगर से फेस नहीं दिखाना है तो बोल दिया करो पर अभी तो मैंने किसी को स्पॉटलाइट वैसे ही नहीं किया खुद का चैनल चालू करो किसको बोल रहे हो तुम अर्श को नहीं नहीं आवाज में लोगों को जिनको स्पॉटलाइट पे आने का शौक है खुद का चैनल स्टार्ट करो ऐसा क्यों क्यों पूरे टाइम के ऑन द बीम पीपल टॉकिंग में तो क्या पॉइंट है तुम ऑन द बीम सेशन करते हो और लोग प्रैक्टिस नहीं करेंगे तुमने मेरे को बोला था कि तुमको कम्युनिकेट करना है तुम लोग को सीखना है एक दूसरे से बात करके तो मैं क्या अपने अपने से बात करते रहो वो तो मैं वैसे ही करते रहती हूँ इट इज एग्जॉस्टिंग तुम लोग अगर से एक दूसरे के साथ बात नहीं करोगे सीखोगे कैसे कम्युनिकेट करना तुम्हें क्यों कहा है तुम्हें आवाज नहीं सुना नहीं बात करने नहीं होता तो एक बात सुनो ठीक है अगर से आवाज है सुनाओ क्योंकि देर आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु दे देखो यही तो प्रॉब्लम है क्या ऑकवर्ड यार तुम भी इंसान हो हम भी इंसान है क्रिश भी इंसान है अनलेस कोई यहाँ पे नॉन इंसान आया है पर मेरे हिसाब से तो नहीं आया है कोई नॉन इंसान हाँ मुझे बोला गया कि मैं एंजल टाइप हूँ बट ठीक है फिर भी मैं ह्यूमन एंजल हूँ मस्ती करू आई एम किडिंग तो एक तो यतीन को हंसी आ रही तो क्रिश भी हंस रही चलो ठीक है अच्छा सुनो प्रॉब्लम तुम लोग की ये है कि तुम लोग को समझ में नहीं आता देर आर सो मेनी पीपल हुर बॉर्न यू ओके यू गेटिंग अ चांस टू टॉक यू हैव अ वॉइस स्पीक व्हाट यू हैव टू से फक व्हाट द वर्ल्ड थिंक्स अबाउट यू दे डोंट गिव अ डैम अभी क्रिश को देख लो जब मेरे पास इनिशियली कितने मैंने हम वी स्पोक लास्ट ईयर मैं अपना नाम भी नहीं बोल पा रहा था तो आई वाज लाइक सेमी म्यूट सेमी म्यूट सेमी म्यूट और वो इतना स्टैमर करते थे उन्होंने कितना अपने पे करेज लाके हमने सेशंस लिए बात किया और उसको अभी उसने वीडियो भी दिया है मुझे टू 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 हेल्प ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल एंड आई प्लान टू पोस्ट इट एंड ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल विद सच स्टोरीज वेर यू यू नो द शो अज योर प्रोग्रेस इवन मेगा आई वांट यू टू मेक अ वीडियो फॉर मी वेर आई रिमेंबर वेन मेगा फर्स्ट केम वर्सेज मेगा नाव इज टू इवन कृति वॉट अ डिफरेंस इन इन दीज चिल्ड्रेन and i want you all to share your stories i don't want my bloody channel to be of these bollywood celebrities gatta unhone kuch life mein ke tum log jo kar rahe ho na tum log you have not understanding yes i will unmute you beta uh, tum log ko ye samajh mein nahi aa raha hai ki krish jaise log ya arsh tum ya mega tum you are actually inspiring children of your age younger older those bollywood people what are they telling us perfectionism perfectionism what Perfection. सारा टाइम अपनी नोज सर्जरी करा रहे हैं कभी बोटॉक्स करा रहे हैं कभी फिलर करा रहे हैं कभी टमी टप करा रहे हैं कभी अपना स्टेराइड लेके बॉडी बना रहे हैं ऑल द टाइम टेलिंग यू टू बी दिस टेन ऑन टेन विच इन रियल लाइफ मोस्ट ऑफ अस इट डजेंट एग्जिस्ट आई है फकिंग व्हाइट हेयर पर दे थिंक दैट व्हाइट हेयर इज लाइक टू बी बैक अब उस दिन हाँ अब मैं तुमको बता दी ये मैं तक हाँ मैं मैं क्या बोलू हाँ Ma'am, you know, before talking to you, I had like biggest self-worth issues. I was like not seeing my worth. I was feeling that what I am, I was not even uh, like recognizing what I am capable of. But you taught me like this is the one thing I'm very grateful to you that you taught me the importance of self-worth. You taught me how to see oneself in that uh, proper light. I was just ignoring myself. I felt that I'm non-existent. I was not considering myself even, and you taught me that. so i just can't thank you ma'am enough for this particular thing and there is a lot you have contributed and and already contributing ma'am like i i think that so many people should come forth and join you and listen to you there is thank so you. much positive thing you are adding to this world ma'am thank you thank you beta thank you and i hope you will also make a video like uh, krish one day and we'll share it i want my youtube channel to be about all of us All of us have issues. तुमको पता है अर्श तुमको लगता है तुम्हारा वॉइस अच्छा नहीं लगता है तुम्हें ओके यू डोंट लाइक यू आई यूज टू हेट माई फकिंग वॉइस ओके ट्रस्ट मी वेन आई वॉज ग्रोइंग अप हमारे जमाने में लाइक uh, वो like, टाइम पे बिफोर मूवीज में जब हुआ था माई वॉइस वॉज कंसिडर्ड अनऑर्थोडॉक्स लाइक ओ माई गॉड शी साउंड सो यू नो लाइक लाउड एंड फोर्सफुल और हॉर्स आई टू ऑलवेज फील लाइक दैट अबाउट माई सेल्फ fast forward to now where people say oh your voice is like asmr and your voice is so therapeutic and you are you speak so well just imagine the journey from hating it to see tumko sirf modulation seekhna hai 
तुमको कब जोर से बोलना है कब धीमे बोलना है कब आपको और डजेंट मैटर हम सबकी आवाज में हम अमीन सयानी नहीं हो सकते हम किसकी वॉइस और किसकी वॉइस अपने जो हाँ अमिताभ बच्चन की वॉइस कंसिडर्ड टू बी लाइक रियली अमेजिंग डजेंट मैटर बच्चा इफ यू गेट अ चांस टू टॉक स्पीक देर आर सो मेनी पीपल इन दिस वर्ल्ड वॉन्ट टू टॉक एंड दे डोंट है गिफ्ट ऑफ वॉइस इट डजेंट मैटर हाउ यू सॉन्ट बिकॉज ट्रस्ट मी आपको That is called the spotlight effect. जब हमको लगता है करके सारा attention हम पे पर किसी को फर्क नहीं पड़ता क्योंकि तुम देखो आज जब सब लोग लिख रहे हैं सब अपने अपने लाइफ में बिजी होते हैं क्रिश जब आए थे और एक एक मेरे उनका बच्चे का नाम याद नहीं आ रहा वो भी इतना स्टैमर स्टार्टर करते थे हाउ मच दे हैव लाइक दे हैव द डे यू बिकम कंफर्टेबल इन यूर ओन स्किन दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड ईच वन ऑफ अस ईच वन एवरी सिंगल सेवन पॉइंट नाइन बिलियन की जो पॉपुलेशन है हर एक इंसान में कुछ ना कुछ है जो उनको शायद पसंद ना आए और वो सामने वाले को समझ में नहीं आता इसको प्रॉब्लम क्या है क्योंकि उनके हिसाब से वो प्रॉब्लम नहीं है क्योंकि खुद भी हम इतने बिजी हैं अपने प्रॉब्लम्स देखने में हमको दूसरों की समझ में नहीं आता जब तक तुम किसी को बोलते नहीं हो ना कि अरे मुझे तो ये अच्छा नहीं लगता तब तक उनके दिमाग में भी नहीं आता मैंने जिनके दिमाग में आता भी है ना वो सिंपली इग्नोर कर देते कि ये भी कोई इशू हो सकता है क्या ऐसा होता है क्या मीन दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट यूर गोइंग थ्रू most of the people in our society and nobody teaches us like acknowledging these feelings which we are going through jab humko so pimple think... aata hai mega jab apne ko acne aata hai we are so fucking busy looking at our face right okay yeah. but kisi aur ko aata hai humare par time hi nahi hota humko dekhne ka but yeah. humko lagta hai ki unke par time hai humko dekhne ka tum mm-hmm. bolo last time tumne jo bhi pehna hota hai तुमको कहा याद होता है सामने वाले ने क्या पहना है तुम अपना देखते हो यार ये अच्छा नहीं लग रहा आज मैं मोटी लग रही हूँ उसमें यू you नो know? और yeah. सामने वाले को फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा क्योंकि सामने वाला तो बिजी है खुद को देखने में तो ये हम भूल जाते हैं कि एवरीबडी इज सो फोकस्ड और अर्श देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड इल्यूजन और ट्रांसपेरेंसी देर वी थिंक दैट द सामने वाला थिंक्स दैट वी आर नो वी थिंक दैट दे नो कि वी आर अनकंफर्टेबल वी आर साउंडिंग दिस वे नहीं किसी को इतना टाइम और जब तक तुम प्रैक्टिस नहीं करोगे जब तक इससे तुम बाहर नहीं निकलोगे तुमको एक जिंदगी मिली है क्या तुम वेट कर रहे हो और किसके लिए वेट कर रहे हो क्या फर्क पड़ता है किसी को हमारी आवाज अच्छे लगे ना लगे हमारी शक्ल अच्छी लगे ना लगे हमारे बाल अच्छे लगे ना लगे हमारी हाइट अच्छी लगे ना लगे वॉट फकी डिफरेंस डज इट मेक दे डोंट फीड अस वी डोंट फीड दम वी आर सपोज टू लर्न दिस पार्ट दट जस्ट बी योर सेल्फ बी कंफर्टेबल एंड स्टार्ट Making use of that time, the voice, ये जो चांस मिला है हमको साथ बैठने का हमारे जमाने में हमारे पास वो चार लोग थे हमारे जो विलेज में दैट्स इट बट टूडे वी गेट टू गैदर समाइम्स इवन आई फील मिसमराइज थिंकिंग अबाउट द possibility we all have to expand our mind like right. the way uh, like the way uh, we people from india are interacting with you you are sitting there in jagalta you have so much knowledge to share and we just get these knowledge and expand our mind so much possibilities are happening because of these internet so i think we all should take like most benefit out of it right. it's not sitting on it and so, main yeah. tumko mega ka hi example deti hu jab mega pehle aayi thi mega hardly baat karti thi और उसको खुद को नहीं पता था मुझे उसकी वॉइस इतनी अच्छी लगी हमेशा हमको लगता है नहीं यार हम में वो बात नहीं है और अगर से नहीं भी है लेट्स अज्यूम नहीं भी है तुमने अगर से मेरे प्रोग्रेस क्लास में पता नहीं कितने बच्चे आए जो ठीक से इंग्लिश बोल भी नहीं पाते बट आई लव दे एफर्ट आई लव हाउ दे आर ट्राइंग एंड दे आर से हार्ड में गई दुनिया हम तो करेंगे हम तो सीखेंगे हम तो बोलेंगे जब हम बोल सकते करेक्ट मेगा यस मैम यस आई रिमेम्बर यू टोल मी दैट व्हाट यू आर सेइंग दैट या लाइक यू कैन टॉक वेल एंड समथिंग देन ओनली आई रियलाइज दैट या इट इज समथिंग व्हिच कैन हैपन एंड देन ओनली आई स्टार्टेड सेइंग पॉजिटिविटी इन माय सेल्फ एंड आई स्टार्टेड इंप्रूविंग एंड टिल नाउ आई आई एम जस्ट सीइंग अ लॉट ऑफ इंप्रूवमेंट इन माय सेल्फ नाउ सो आई एम सो थैंकफुल और अर्श ने लिखा मैंने कल दो पकौड़े खाए ने पिंपल्स इतने जल्दी नहीं आते बच्चा पहले तो फर्स्ट एक्ने हैज दिस होल प्रोसेस यस सर्टेन फूड्स कैन एग्रेवेट इट बट इफ यू आर अ टीनेजर एज इट इज योर हार्मोन्स आर रेजिंग योर ऑयल ग्लैंड्स आर इफ यू हैव ऑयली स्किन पर जिन जिन को ऑयली स्किन है बी एक्साइटेड बिकॉज बाद में लेटर ऑन थोड़े कम रिंकल्स आएंगे बट एक्ने सबको सबको नहीं होता ठीक है सॉरी मोस्ट हम सब एक्सपीरियंस करते हैं 
डोंट वरी अबाउट इट इट विल गो अवे इन टाइम जैसे हम होते हैं बट टेक केयर ऑफ योर स्किन वॉश बहुत ज्यादा भी नहीं टू ड्राई स्किन ऑल्सो योर स्किन स्टार्ट गेटिंग ट्राइज टू मॉइस्ट राइट सो वो क्या होता है ज्यादा ऑयल फिर सिक्रेट होता है बहुत सारे ओवर द काउंटर प्रोडक्ट्स थोपो मत क्योंकि पोर्स क्लॉग होते हैं ठीक है स्लीप इज इम्पॉर्टेंट वॉटर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एक्सरसाइज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो ये सारी चीजें और गो टू अ प्रॉपर डर्मेटोलॉजिस्ट बिफोर इट गेट्स वर्ड्स लाइक माई सन इज लेवन I just I didn't give him any major thing to put, but I started using Neutrogena का जो facial wash है कि at least उसके because sweat bacteria जब mix होके oil के साथ वो तुम्हारे pores को clog करते हैं तो उससे उसका diet उसको बोला है करके इतना junk food मत खाओ so all that even your your body is full of so many things and genetic factor uh, like my father used to get lot of acne my my mother never got it so I used to have terrible acne. So much so कि मुझे एक्यूटेन लेना पड़ा मेरे अपने ये करने के लिए तो आजकल इतने सारे प्रोडक्ट से चिंता मत करो और वो चले जाते हैं सब अपने अपने टाइम पे सबको होता है यार ह्यूमन थिंग है टू गेट एक्ने एंड ऑल ऑफ इट मैम एक गाना हो जाए किसने लिखा ये ये पागल मेरे को गाना नहीं आता मैं डांस कर सकती हूँ पर मैं डांस अभी नहीं करूंगी मैं बाई द वे हाँ मेरे पति को पता है हाँ हम लोग ना फेयरवेल पार्टी भी रख रहे हैं और उनका सिक्सटी बर्थडे पार्टी है तो हम लोग फ्रेंड्स लोग प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं और मैं होपफुली होपफुली मैं एक सोलो भी करने की कोशिश करूंगी बट मैं पोस्ट करूंगी कि नहीं मुझे नहीं पता अगर से अच्छा आया वीडियो तो मैं यूट्यूब हाँ मैं एक्चुअली तुम लोग को पूछना चाहती थी मैं तो वैसे ही ज्यादा मैं ज्यादा फोटोज यूज नहीं निकालती और uh, क्या कभी कभी यूट्यूब पे मुझे फोटोज लगाना चाहिए कभी कभी मैं इंस्टा पे एक आध बार स्टोरी पे लगाती हूँ आई थिंक गौरव गौरव ने नोटिस किया था लास्ट टाइम तो uh, करना चाहिए कि नहीं करना चाहिए पर्सनल लाइफ तुम लोग को अच्छा लगता है मुझे तो नहीं पता नहीं कि करना चाहिए कि नहीं आई एम टू न्यू एट ऑल दिस सो कैन यू स्टॉप म्यूटिंग योरसेल्फ जब मैं अनम्यूट या मैम आई थिंक यू कैन यू कैन प्रोबेबली शेयर थिंग्स फ्रॉम योर लेसंस फ्रॉम योर पर्सनल लाइफ एंड सी बट अगर आपको ऐसा लगे कि मतलब बहुत ज्यादा कमेंट्स आ रहे हैं एंड यू नो Uh, so social media can be a toxic place uh-huh. so that, then you can don't worry about that i am used mere discord that. pe raid hone laga to tum kahega toxic ki baat kar raha hu why so what you you are not dressed also so change and come then i'll do 5 seconds it will take na she wants to make some boomerang with me because phool diye gaye mujhe to mujhe uske sath ha Hey, or do I told them? Do I showed them the video of the donuts and cookies? So, ah, uh, ha, I am sure you should post. Okay, ha, uh, accidentally muted myself. Okay, okay. Actually, I have known that why? Because some things come to us in Zoom, which make my life, its soul purpose is that I have done a bad thing. So, YouTube has made bad comments. 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 So, YouTube क्योंकि इनके लाइफ में और कोई मीनिंग नहीं है पर्पस नहीं है इनको मजा आता है कचरा करने में क्योंकि ये खुद कचरा किस्म के इंसान हैं अभी अर्ज सुनने बोला है तुमने मेरे वही समझाया बेटा कि अगर जंक फूड एक बार खाने से नहीं होता इट इज अ टोटल होलिस्टिक अप्रोच टू हेल्दी स्किन ओके और एज यू ग्रो ओल्डर रेटिन इज वेरी गुड इट विल हेल्प यू बट माइंड डोंट टेक लाइक और किसी ने लिखा एंग्जाइटी ऑन स्टेज अरे बाबा तुम मुझे तो समझ में नहीं आता अगर से आपको बहुत ज्यादा एंजाइटी आप लोग स्टेज पे क्या कर रहे हो पीपल आर जस्ट नॉट कट आउट फॉर द स्टेज जैसे अगर से आपको आप अगर से कि कौन आया था आ, अमन अम अमन शुक्ला हाँ तो वो जब आए थे तो वो बचपन से ही उनमें वो फूर्ति थी एंड वो बात कर सकते थे सो ही इज लाइक सो कॉल्ड पब्लिक स्पीकर और वॉर But and ma'am, uh, yeah, there is one very wonderful thing Aman said. Uh, like I asked him a question that don't you feel nervous when you get on a stage? Then he said that everybody gets nervous, and those who don't get uh, nervous, like they are lying. And if you think that if you are adding something to the life of people, and and someone is getting benefited because of you, then you won't feel nervous. You won't feel like. Uh, those kind of feelings won't come to you. So whenever you feel like you're you're feeling sweaty and feeling nervous, then simply think that how many people are getting benefited because of you. Right. And 
and how much value you are go going to add so that thing really hit me like yeah this is such a wonderful thing which he uh, shared and since then i felt that yeah this should be considered see, but see, that is different once in a while if you're speaking okay and you're adding value every single time mega we cannot add value to someone's life sometimes we're just talking because we want to talk right and we want to say something so those kind of people so you have to also it's like me saying uh ha it's like me saying ki mujhe gana gana hai mera awaaz dur dur tak gaane layak nahi hai मुझे गा नहीं सकती पर मुझे गाना गाना है स्टेज पे खड़े क्वालिटी होनी चाहिए कि नहीं होनी चाहिए इंसान तो दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम एवरीबडी के नॉट बी अ पब्लिक स्पीकर एवरीबडी के नॉट बी एन एक्टर एवरीबडी के नॉट बी टू फाइनेंस तो पहले तो देखो कि डू यू रियली नीड टू डू समथिंग लाइक जबरदस्ती अपने आप पे प्रेशर डालना कि नहीं मुझे वो करना है जो मेरे से होता ही नहीं है इसलिए क्या क्या हम सब आधुरी दीक्षित जैसे डांस कर सकते नहीं कर सकते राइट तो वी हैव टू बी कम बी सेल्फ अवेयर क्या ग्यारह बज गए एक सेकेंड सॉरी ओके तो मैं क्या कह रही थी तो जिन्होंने भी ये लिखा है मेरी एंजाइटी और ओवर थिंकिंग वाली सेशन है पहले तो वो टिप्स और टेक्निक्स और बेसिक फंडामेंटल्स फिक्स करो एंड uh, फिर उस पर हम फॉलो ऑल द पब्लिक स्पीकर्स इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू बिकम अ पब्लिक स्पीकर बट इफ यू आर नॉट कट आउट फॉर इट प्लीज डोंट बी सो हार्श ऑन योर सेल्फ यू डोंट हैव टू डू समथिंग जस्ट टू यू नो से कि अरे मुझसे ये नहीं हो पा रहा फिर भी मुझे करना है अगर से करना है करो बट इट्स लाइक आई वुड नॉट पर्पजली गो एंड गिव अ स्पीच अनलेस इट वॉज समथिंग विच कम्स टू मी नेचुरली पर अगर से तुम मेरे को अभी बोलोगे ना करके एक स्पीच को मेमोराइज करो और जाके बोलो मुझसे भी ना हो पाएगा आई एम लाइक इतना कौन ध्यान रखे फिर यू स्टम्बल एंड यू फम्बल इट्स ओके आई एम मोर लाइक अ मोर ऑर्गेनिक नेचुरल काइंड ऑफ स्पीकर मैम आज भी यूट्यूब पे एक कचरा सेट आया अच्छा मैंने कैसे मिस कर दिया मैं एक्चुअली मैं इतना चार्ट देख नहीं रही थी मुझे नहीं पता था कोई आया आज मैम प्लीज टेल सम मैम वॉट यू हैव टू सेव श्वेता वर्सेज प्रखर वर्सेज संदीप कॉन्ट्रो कि हाउ कम आई एम नॉट गेटिंग एनी चैट यू नो आई हैव नॉट चेकड एनी चैट अब यहाँ पे इतने क्वेश्चन आए मैं तो देखा ही नहीं आई एम सो सॉरी बच्चा लोग मैं तो अपने ही टाउ अच्छा ओके मैम आई एम रोहन आई टुक योर नेम ओके होपफुल यू आर स्टिल हियर एंड अलिशबा आई पास ट्वेल्व एट ईयर्स अगो अलिशबा क्या है ना एक मिनट यार मैंने तो बहुत मिस कर दिया मैं तो आई एम सो सॉरी मैंने तो ये पढ़ा ही नहीं है ये चैट्स पता है मेरे फोन पे अटक चुका है मेरा मैं तब से सोच रही कोई कोई मैसेज ही नहीं आया है ओ ओके ओके अब मैं पढ़ रही हूँ मैम आज कर हाउ कैन समन फाइंड वन पर्सन ऑलरेडी आई एम गोड पोस्ट द लिंक थैंक यू रचना मैम फॉर ब्रिंगिंग दिस थैंक एम रियर्स ओके अरियान हाउ टू ट्रीट विटामिन डी बी डिफिशेंसी टेक सप्लीमेंट्स एंड गो गेट अ चेकअप फर्स्ट हाउ डू यू नो इफ इट्स लेस तुम चेकअप करोगे चेकअप करोगे तो डॉक्टर को दिखाओगे डॉक्टर दिखाओगे तो डॉक्टर आपको बताएगा कि कौन से सप्लीमेंट्स लेने हैं इतना डिफिकल्ट नहीं है हेल्पफुल ड्यूरिंग एग्जाम्स आई एम ग्लैड स्वप्निल केवेन ओके आई हैव पिता कपर टाइप ओके हाय गौरव तुमको हाय बोल दिया आई डोंट नो हु इज जैनिट सो क्या लिखा था एक गौरव मेरे को बता ना क्या लिखा था मुझे भी जानना है क्या लिखा था और क्या सनोवर हाय कल क्या क्या बोल रहे हो ब्रो ओके मतलब सिर्फ दस साल और जी हूँ क्या बोल रहा है कुछ अच्छा वाला मुझे ये देना ये कैसी ब्लेसिंग है बोलो हेल्थी फिट और थोड़ा और लॉन्गर यार तुम लोग फिर सिर्फ दस साल मुझे देखोगे तो ओ अच्छा अच्छा व्हाट इज ओ गॉड अच्छा थैंक्स गौरव थैंक यू आई एम नॉट रीड व्हाट गौरव रोड बट आई एम ग्लैड दैट यू बैंड दिस एस इट्स ओके इट शोज दैट कैसे गटर से इंसान आया ना उसकी सोच गटर लाइक हाँ हाउ आर यू डूइंग मैम आई एम गुड यू साउंड फ्रस्ट्रेटेड मैम वाई एम आई फ्रस्ट्रेटेड नो आई एम नॉट वी आर हैविंग फंड हैविंग अ कॉन्वर्सेशन 
okay ma'am you are not really reading any comment why i don't i'm so sorry rohan i didn't even know mere phone pe comments stop ho gaye the abhi main uh, computer pe pad rahi hu are rohan 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 ke naam itne baar le liya rohan abhi tum khush ho jao uh, okay uh, are you in class 12 acha now i'm getting understanding kya ho raha hai okay, okay. can we have a call kahe tu kalish bas se kahe baat karna chahta hai rohan tujhe kahe kya chahiye if you are comfortable प्लीज जॉइन रश्मा मैम डिस्कॉर्ड यस रोहन माय डिस्कॉर्ड लिंक इज देयर ओ आई एम सॉरी आई डोंट यूज डिस्कॉर्ड प्लीज ये तुम लोग अचानक की क्या चल रहा है रोहन एंड अलिशबा आप लोग एक दूसरे से कहे बात करना चाहते हो प्लीज गिव सम हेयर ग्रोथ ट्रिप्स जो जॉइन माय डिस्कॉर्ड मैंने वहां पे फोटो डाली है और टू थ्री थिंग्स व्हिच हेल्प विद हेयर ग्रोथ एंड स्टडी सिंह कोई लिख नहीं रहा है प्लीज टर्म ओके ओके मैम हाउ टू कंट्रोल अ ब्रेन फ्रॉम being a people pleaser maine pura video dali hai people pleasing pe please kabhi to dekha karo ha ashmit is now saying me only nahi nahi billion dekh ya to 60 mein marne ki koshish kar raha hai ya to ek billion tum log ho gaye nahi to main kiske liye jiyungi yahan pe ek billion saal to uh, it's okay ma'am why don't you invite prakash i i don't know uh, what are you uh, no i don't have any views on that acha kisne likha hai ki mujhe controversy kya what you have to say on shweta prakhar versus sandeep i have nothing to say why do i i don't how does it matter to y'all or to me it's their life they they had a conversation i know somebody uh, who follows me sent me this whole video mujhe kuch lena dena nahi hai apne ke apne paas ye sab cheezon ke liye time nahi hai usko jo bolna tha usko jo sochna tha unhone kar diya tum log bhi na faltu mein wo bolte na gossip mongers ki tarah tum log ऐसे स्टॉप इट फक इट दे हैड अ कॉन्वर्सेशन दे अग्रीड दे डिसअग्रीड वी ऑल आर गोड हैव सम काइंड ऑफ इश्यूज इन आर लाइफ समटाइम्स वील अग्री समटाइम्स वील डिसअग्री सो दैट्स दैट्स वेयर मेच्योरिटी कम्स इन वे यू डोंट आर्ग्यू यू डोंट फाइट एंड एज फार एज आई नो यू सॉर्टेड इट आउट इसमें मुझे क्या करना है यार इट इज कॉन्ट्रेरी से ओह आई जस्ट आई जस्ट सो श्वेता रिएक्टेड टू अवंती नगर अली Okay, I want to watch this. <laughs> What he has to say, <laughs> because even I was talking about it. So uh, I think I'm 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 a very moderate kind of a, this thing. I don't have extreme views on me. आपको अपने अपने life जियो यार अपने को क्या करना है इतना अच्छा अभी हम चले आपके questions. Um, thanks, ma'am, for the podcast. My pleasure, Krishna. And sorry, Rohan, I am not interested in any controversy. मुझे I have way too much. Uh, I have good things going on in my life. मुझे ये सब चिटर पिटर चीजों में कोई दिलचस्पी नहीं है अपन हम वी आर डूइंग वेल ओके मैम चाहे लोग मैं संदीप मेरे को देखती हूँ या नहीं बट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूज हाँ एग्जैक्टली सो इट्स ओके लाइफ इज सच एंड यू नो वेन आई यू गोइंग टू नो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू ब्रिंग श्रोता बिकॉज वी हैव ऑलरेडी कॉल्ड हेम ट्वाइस दिस ईयर एंड ही वॉज देयर फॉर फोर आवर्स आई एम क्वाइट एम्बेरस टू ब्रिंग हिम बैक इफ यू पीपल वॉन्ट हिम टू कम यू कैन राइट टू हिम he can call me there or he can come here so he is always welcome on my channel but i don't think it is right for me to you know just because we were once upon a time acquaintances and i did some podcast with him it doesn't mean ki sara time you know we are supposed to always have a podcast with him it's okay uh, mera mera kaam bhi to alag hai na wo unka kaam alag hai mera kaam alag hai aur after some time एक पीक पे खत्म हर चीज का अंत होता है लाइफ में देर इज एन एक्सपायरी डेट फॉर एवरीथिंग सो लेट इट गो पीसफुली इफ इट सपोज टू हैपन इट विल हैपन वन डे बट व्हेन डोंट आस्क मी सच क्वेश्चंस आई हैव नो क्लू अच्छा आई गोट टू गो ओके टुमारो प्लीज कम फॉर जिनको इंग्लिश सीखना है वी आर टीचिंग कॉन्वर्सेशनल इंग्लिश फॉर फ्री एंड ऑल्सो टुमारो वी गोट टू टीच यू हाउ टू मेक अ प्रेजेंटेशन किसी ने क्या लिखा है किसको बुलाना है अभी oh okay ha he is very busy uh, he pai uh, was also feeling unka na kitne sare podcast aa rahe hai kitne sare unke programs aa rahe hai so i think he is very busy so ya jin jin ko chahiye tum unko bhi likho ki please rachna ma'am ko bulao ya to mere is pe aao i am i'm always open to collaborating with anybody and everybody so uh, because i don't believe that which youtubers you follow actually i don't watch anybody sometimes i watch shatab's content sometimes uh, uh, what's his name 
very rarely i have watched a little bit of prakar i have not watched too much of him um kon hai yaar ha ranveer alabadia ka ek aad kuch podcast podcast bhi nahi dekha ek aad video time hi nahi milta yaar pura din tum kaam kar rahe ho tumko khud ka apna content dekhna hai apne bacche apni family kahan hai ye sab time karne ko ye mera aise hi mar ka hai gaya hai okay ha to thank you gorav for uh, taking care of and thank you for everyone for the good bachchas and everybody who was um, you know today here and helped this session to be such a dekho zyada ki cha nahi hai mujhe tum quality content wale aur quality followers subscribers hai na i am happy ma'am fit youtuber jaise youtubers ko to kabhi nahi bol kya 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 ma'am fit youtuber jaise youtubers ko to kabhi nahi bol sorry ma'am क्या बोल रहा है कहा है क्या बोलने की कोशिश कर रहा है अच्छा मेरी बेटी मुझे यू वांट टू कम एंड सी देम कम एंड से हेलो नो देयर आर मोर ऑन YouTube विद द वाचिंग मी व्हाट इज रॉन्ग विद यू हां नो यू कम हियर यार सी देयर सो मेनी ऑन द लाइव चैट आल्सो कम कम हियर से हेलो टू देम ओके दिस इज माय डॉटर कम हियर क्लोजर दिस इज सानिया बिग इज नोस इन द वर्ल्ड सानिया कम हियर so this is my daughter sanya she is 19 and she studies in canada so abhi she has come for four uh, months and last time kisi ne mujhe mere beti ko follow karne ki baat ki thi uh, please mere beti se dur raho maa ka fierce nature aa jata hai she is a very sweet girl mera you want to come aryan you want to say hello okay my son refuses to say hello and she wants to do some boomerang something uh, because aaj mothers day hai sara chahiye cheez insta pe to hona chahiye right her smile is beautiful yeah she herself is very beautiful and a very kind child very uh, kind and sweet child aaj she bought from flowers donuts and all of it to uh, for mothers day because my husband is traveling so both the children were uh, yeah, she is putting the heart smile okay goodbye guys take care of yourself aur kal milte hain break ke baad theek hai tell us what your routine rohan next time beta aaj nahi theek hai अरे डोंट गो ने मेरे बच्चे बुला रहे हैं आज मदर्स डे थोड़ा एटलीस्ट बच्चों के साथ तुम बच्चों के साथ मैंने टाइम स्पेंड किया अभी मेरे मुझे मेरे बच्चों के साथ जाने दो ठीक है आई एम कमिंग बैक टुमारो फॉर द इंग्लिश क्लास एंड कल प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स जिन जिन को सीखना है प्लीज डू ज्वाइन